fund that's used to pay for the nation's roads, bridges, and ports could soon run dry. White House correspondent Mark Smith reports. A White House analysis says 112,000 projects could halt if the Highway Trust Fund runs dry. Which means freight won't move, which means trade will slow, which means businesses won't hire. Transportation Secretary Anthony Fox says there could be 700,000 fewer jobs. Right now, what fills the fund are gas taxes, and Americans are using less gas. President Obama would use corporate taxes to fill the gap in a four-year, $300 billion plan. But the GOP's balking, and the most an election year Congress may do is the latest in dozens of short-term fixes. Mark Smith at the White House. A popular energy bill has failed to advance in the Senate. Jerry Bodlander has that story. Senators from both parties support key aspects of the bill, which would provide tax incentives to make homes and commercial buildings more efficient, while also tightening efficiency guidelines for new federal buildings. But wrangling over the Keystone XL pipeline was its undoing, and it fell a handful of votes short of clearing a procedural hurdle. Majority Leader Harry Reid blamed Republicans. Demand after demand has been met. But even now, they're still seeking a ransom. Republicans fired back the Democrats wouldn't allow votes on some key energy issues. Jerry Bodlander, Capitol Hill. A video from a Nigerian terror group reportedly shows footage of the nearly 300 schoolgirls kidnapped last month. National Security Correspondent Sagar Magani reports from the Pentagon. The video shows the girls reciting prayers. And the Boko Haram terror group's leader vowing they will not be seen again until the Nigerian government frees his detained fighters. We uh, have no reason to question its authenticity. The State Department says intelligence experts are scouring the tape for clues. Meantime, the White House says a U.S. team of nearly 30 people is now on the ground, aiding a very tough effort. We are talking about uh, helping the Nigerian government search an area that is roughly the size of New England. Sagar Megani at the Pentagon. A Democratic congressional hopeful battling Clay Aiken in North Carolina has died after a fall in his home. Correspondent Jerry Bodlander has the details. Textile entrepreneur Keith Crisco, who was locked in a tight race with former American Idol runner-up Clay Aiken after last week's primary, has died after an accident at his North Carolina home. This according to the company he founded. Crisco was 71. He trailed Aiken by less than 400 votes, about that many absentee ballots still have to be counted, along with some provisional ballots. The winner would face two-term incumbent Republican Congresswoman Renee Elmers. Jerry Bodlander, Capitol Hill. A new report finds wide disparities in the number of slots available for publicly funded preschool programs. Collada Bradley explains. For the 2012-2013 school year, 94% of four-year-olds went to publicly funded preschool in Washington, D.C. It was more than 7 out of 10 in Florida, Oklahoma, and Vermont. Ten states don't have publicly funded preschool, and overall, the number of children in state preschool programs declined modestly. And even as funding increased from a year before, more than half of states with programs made cuts. California alone lost nearly 15,000 slots. The report is from the National Institute for Early Education Research at Rutgers and the Education Department. Carlotta Bradley, Washington. And suspected sex workers in New York no longer need to fear being caught with condoms. Correspondent Warren Levinson reports the NYPD will no longer confiscate unused condoms to be used as evidence. New York City police say they will no longer seize condoms from suspected sex workers to use as evidence in prostitution cases. Critics had said a city that spends a million dollars a year to distribute condoms to promote safe sex was at best sending a mixed message when it considered possession of them evidence of a crime. Human Rights Watch interviewed sex workers on city streets and found many don't carry condoms for fear of attracting police attention. Mayor Bill de Blasio says a policy that inhibits people from safe sex is mistaken and dangerous. Possession of large quantities of condoms will still be considered evidence in sex trafficking cases. Warren Levinson, New York. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young.
Amid the catastrophic economic crisis spurred by Tuesday's release of This Christmas, the new holiday-themed album by John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John, economic experts told reporters today the Christmas CD has quickly plunged the nation into a double-dip recession. When investors learned that one-time screen couple John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John had reunited after 35 years for an album of timeless Christmas classics, investors had no choice but to pull money from markets immediately. We were already on shaky ground with the collapse of the U.S. subprime mortgage market and the reversal financial crisis in Europe, but consumer confidence plummeted after Americans saw the new album with a picture of Travolta and Olivia Newton-John holding cups of hot cocoa. We believe that when other countries find out the album features a Christmas song that pays tribute to summer nights, we could be looking at a global contagion. This is the blackest day on Wall Street in two decades. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you want here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've also got Skype. You can Skype on into the show at username lrn.fm. Feel free to reach out in the way you prefer with you tonight. It's Ian. Johnny Ray. And Mark. Uh, we've got some pretty outrageous news and then uh, some surprising news, at least for some, about the legalization of cannabis and how the cartels are feeling about that. But shocking news coming from the EU, their highest court, according to the New York Times and various other sources today, gave individuals the right to what they call influence, what can be learned about them through web searches, rejecting long-established practices about the free flow of information on the internet Hmm. before people who did not like what was being said about them online needed to go to the original source of the information and persuade the website to delete it. That was arduous and often impossible. But the European court said the middleman, the search engine, could be asked to simply delete the links. Now, as we'll find out here, it's probably not that they're going to be asked to delete the links. They're likely going to be obligated. Let me go on, though. In some ways, the court is trying to erase the last 25 years when people learned to routinely Google every potential suitor, partner, or friend. In 1990, finding out the true history of a blind date or business collaborator was practically impossible. Jonathan Zetrain, professor at Harvard Law School, says it could result in giving people a line-item veto over results on searches about themselves. Some will see this as corrupting, Others will see it as purifying. He's siding with the former group, warning that Google research results could become equivalent to about.me, which is some website. Uh, Others argue that the search was never neutral and that the ruling by the European Court of Justice in Luxembourg is in tune with how people want to live. Quote, more and more Internet users want a little of the ephemerality and the forgetfulness of the pre-digital days, says Victor Meyer Schoenberger, professor of the Internet governance, uh, governance at the Oxford Internet Institute. He says they don't want their drunken pictures to follow them for the next 30 years. <laughs> you know, I, it's, I get where they're coming from. There are certainly things on the Internet about me I would prefer not be there, mm-hmm. like to just have that stuff stop, but... I kind of feel like this is the progress, this is societal progress, and that if we would have asked, hey, people from the late 17th century, how would you like medicine or transportation or communication or governance to look in the future? And actually gave those people some kind of power in deciding what those things would look like that we would probably have an entirely different world. You know, there would probably be some people that think that, uh, you know, there certainly are some people currently that think that medicine is a is an abomination before God. Mm-hmm. That, uh, you know, the, who knows what they would have wanted to see as far as, you know, they, they wouldn't want to see the telegraph. They just want a better town crier, as it were. I, I don't think people should be asked these things. I think this is a stunning court decision, and I hope Google ignores it. I hope they just decide well, we'll shut down our offices in Spain and France and wherever else in the EU that they may have offices. We're not going to comply with this ridiculous order. You always hope that they will do something like that. Usually it seems like they do what 
is going to maximize their profits and keep their relationships good. True, but you know, if you look at a company like Amazon, wherever a, uh, some sort of regulation comes down that affects how they do business, they'll just move. They'll just shut down their uh, their stores, or not stores, but their warehouses or whatever, and they'll move operations to a more friendly location. So it's not like it, it can't or hasn't been done in, in other instances. And, and think about, we can talk a little bit more about it in a moment, but think about the enforcement costs. You want to talk about keeping costs down. If Google has to respond to every request with an end of every request to remove something offensive from their search results, uh, that's just mind-boggling how many requests they're going to be receiving from people and then have a how do they verify it. that information how do they confirm they're talking with the real individual in question right. how do they do i mean this is crazy you had a situation on freekeen.com another website that you manage uh, besides freetalklive.com mm-hmm. where a person didn't like something that they had written i think that they had posted there on the website at one point and they yes. wanted you to remove what they had posted now you knew for a fact that this was the person that posted the stuff yeah but um, you have this integrity thing around, uh, you know, the, the facts, just the facts, ma'am. And this person posted this some years prior. And, you know, now whatever it is that their concern is, you know, sorry, not going to remove it. Um, um, that's not necessarily true. I have removed uh, content upon request from certain individuals. In this case, the content was not created by me, the one I think you're referring to. Okay. The content was not my content, so I did not feel comfortable removing it. So, like, had I written the article, maybe I would have removed it, but the article in question was not con- uh, conceived by me, and so I told the person they needed to talk to whoever the author of the story was. Fine. So you had some rule or another that you yeah. went by. Um, but... How much time do you think you invested in that? Um, well, I mean, I looked into his request and, uh, and he I spent the time to write him back. Too, right? uh, he's bugged me about it once or twice or something like that. Yeah. So, an hour? Also, get requests regularly uh, through my email from what well, I'm not even sure if they're actual people. I don't know. They may be robots asking me to remove some sort of link to their website from my, one of my websites, like Free Talk Live or Free Keen. And half the time, when I go to look into it and see where that link is, it's not even there. So I don't even understand what that's all about. There's one on Facebook that says uh, that it says uh, Free Talk Live. I find this picture offensive, and it'll just have one of the random pictures that we post on memes, or I find this post offensive. Hmm. And it'll just say something like that. And um, please remove it. And <laughs> I, at the first couple of times, uh, I would respond with, no. And you know, now yeah. I realize it's just some robot out there that uh, just sends stuff. But yeah, I mean, you know, hey, this will be fun. Let's mess with Google. The court said data privacy officials in European countries would have the final say on whether a link should be removed, but gave no objective standard beyond saying that search links should be relevant. It also said Google should err on the side of removing links when requested. So, again, I don't really understand how that's going to pan out, exactly how that's going to work if Google you know, doesn't remove something, does that mean that the individual can then appeal to whatever the privacy officials are in their country? Oh, good thing we then, have a whole crew of those people. Then they will uh, assess the situation and come down with some kind of ruling. I mean, yeah, this sounds this so mean? crazy and bureaucratic. So, I mean, if what if you have uh, somebody who has a news story written about them, but they don't like the news story? Sure. So, uh, can I have that news story removed from all over the internet? I'm going to go about trying to get this news story removed from the internet. Um, well, I mean, okay, so you say no, no, there's other people in the article, maybe, you know, news article, maybe they won't want that removed, or, you know, if it's a crime, there's a victim, or those kind of sorts of things. But isn't a picture, uh, they, they referenced a drunk sh- drunken picture from mm-hmm. 10 years ago isn't a drunken picture from 10 years ago news i mean is it not factual i mean it's you a, did it it's reporting of what occurred right well which makes me wonder exactly how this is going to be enforced what are the uh, the rules going to be they're saying the google should err on the side of removing a link anyway one person's relevance they say is another's ancient history should a businessman be able to expunge a link to his bankruptcy from a decade ago how about five years I've would, got a bankruptcy. Let's get that thing off the internet. Could a would-be politician get a drunken driving arrest removed by calling it a youthful folly? The burden of fulfilling— I can tell you that, yes, the answer is the politician, especially an incumbent, could get it removed. Remember George Bush's—or excuse me, uh, Jeb Bush's daughters? The crack. Uh, smoke crack. Crack smoking <laughs> right, daughter. Right. 
<laughs> One of the daughters got caught smoking crack. Yeah, and, and then uh, she got caught with it again while in rehab, if I recall correctly. And, and, and you know, they, they asked the public to please leave them alone in this time of uh, trouble. Um, you know, this right, is a, a family, family issue. This is a family matter. When, you're, when your kid gets caught with crack, it's a criminal matter. Yeah, you're going when to their jail. kid gets caught with crack, it is a family matter. Uh, so the decision stunned Google and just about everyone else. Google said it would need time to study the decision, which is a final judgment and cannot be appealed. The case before the court involved a Spanish lawyer who tried to get Google to remove links to online newspaper accounts from the 1990s of his debt and tax troubles. The court ruled that companies like Google could be obliged to remove links to web pages unless there are, quote, particular reasons such as the role played by the data subject in public life, unquote, not to. So there's some sort of a loophole. Uh, $8.55, $4.50 free, but the compliance cost of this would be enormous. It's Free Talk Live. Gold Bond presents Shaquille O'Neal. So I'm hanging out with my Gold Bond buddies, and they're like, Shaq, Shaq, great job with the Gold Bond powder spray. People love it. So I'm soaking in the good vibes, kicking off my shoes. Next thing I know, they're coming out with a new foot powder spray. Boom. Shaq strikes again. Gold Bond No Mess Powder Spray cools and refreshes your body. And new Gold Bond Foot Powder Spray has two times the odor-absorbing powders to do the same for your feet. Stay cool with Gold Bond. Safety, safety, safety. I'm saying it three times. Studies show you need to hear something three times to remember it. So remember, safety, safety, safety is important to me, me, me. That's why I love Granger. Granger has the products to help keep our facilities safe and people safer. Say it with me, kid. Safety, safety, safety from Granger, Granger, Granger. When you think safety, think Granger. Get it? Got it? Good. Call clickgranger.com slash safety or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm. This time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American, covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237, and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Free Talk Live. The heavy-handed language that you're speaking out against the government is, I never heard anything like this on the radio. When, when the founding fathers decided that the government um, that the government of England was no longer servicing their needs, they stopped paying their taxes first. Don't you drive on roads? Don't you? Aren't you glad you're defended <laughs> from, from, uh, from the uh, foreigners? Sir, they the stole for- this the man's The foreigners property. are coming to get me. But yeah, they stole these. They, these aren't foreigners I need to be defended from. It's these people down the street calling themselves government that are willing to steal my property from me and burn my house to the ground, which but is what they did to this man. It's not yours. The government owns it. You, I mean, really? I you have, are you them. telling me, sir, that ev- every one of us are actually serfs? We're actually subjects and slaves to the state? Is that what you're telling me? Well, if it sounds good to you. No, that doesn't sound good. I don't accept it. I'm a free man. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. 
Have you ever wanted to help a hardworking person get their business off the ground? Then join me in enjoying some BuzzBox coffee. Let's make a difference, one cup at a time. Join us in helping people buy their own coffee farms through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Free Talk Live coffee drinkers will truly change lives forever. To get the best coffee you've ever tasted, it's organic, shade-grown, and top 1% Arabica grade. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. The first pound's free, just cover shipping. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Take control of these airwaves. Do it toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And join us online over at freetalklive.com, where we give you all the features completely free. Again, that's freetalklive.com. You can get Bitcoins by going to cashintocoins.com. A lot of people have been hearing a lot of things about Bitcoins, and I believe that they're, I believe they're poised to move upward as far as uh, value goes. But... I think even more important, the reason I believe they're going to move up in value is because they're they're very useful, and every day, new uses are popping up for Bitcoin. Ian, I believe you just used some Bitcoins to purchase uh, a gift card. Not yet, but I'm going to. I'm at uh, gift.com, and they now have Home Depot cards, and I need some light bulbs for the studio, so why pay with cash when I can pay with Bitcoin and actually save money? Well, you can save money and... Uh, also, what you do is you sort of keep the Bitcoin economy churning. I think that this is really the one thing that, uh, you know, a lot of people are bemoaning. Oh, Bitcoin's been stagnant, hasn't been moving. Oh, I understand that. That's the case. Well, well wait, you... hold on. Isn't that what some people wanted out of Bitcoin yeah, was for it to stay steady? That was the complaint. Yes, <laughs> there's no doubt about it. Yeah. Now, that it's, now, that, now that it's steady, no one wants to talk about it any longer. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, if you want uh, Bitcoin to go up in value, you need to use it. It's a currency, and currencies need to change hands. They need to, to remain liquid. They need to keep moving. So when you make a purchase with your Bitcoins, buy more Bitcoins through cashintocoins.com. Mm. The instructions there at the website are clear. It's easy, safe, fast, legal, inexpensive. Customer service is their top priority. I've been doing business with them for many months, and uh, it's always a good experience. You can use a money order, check, or wire transfer once you go there to the website, cashintocoins.com, get it all set up. The rates are great, and you actually orders under $40. Have no fee. So you can get some Bitcoins without paying any fee at all. Cash into coins.com. Mark, I hate to disagree with you, and I don't have any evidence to back it up, but I will disagree that Bitcoins need to be spent for them to stay alive. I think it would be perfectly tenable situation for people not to be spending Bitcoins at all, but just to be buying them, hoarding them, and like that. Yeah, but if businesses... Uh, don't see bitcoins being spent with them, they're gonna be like, "Why am I gonna buy these things?" And no one, no one wants to sell them. Um, and I just, I, f I find it unlikely that it's that this whole buy and hold thing is going to uh, last too long. I think bitcoins are ultimately going to be valued much higher than they are now. Much, I, I would much, agree with you. Yep, much too. higher. And although I have profited nominally by my spending of the bitcoins that i bought early on i th still think i'm a fool for doing it i, th I wish that i had had held on to them and, and not spent a single one well i'm not suggesting that you not hold on to your uh, bitcoins i'm suggesting you use your bitcoins for uh, to, to buy things and then replace the bitcoins that you used so that's what my suggestion is i see it costs a little bit it, there's there's a little bit of a, a cost to, to that system there's no doubt about it but if you want them to go up i think that there needs to be the churn that p businesses need to see them coming in wow people are excited about these things and then there'll be more the infrastructure well, around I, it there's I no real understand. infrastructure with buying bitcoins and holding them there's lots of infrastructure to using bitcoins as a currency yeah i get where you're coming from mark i think that uh, the the middle ground though is to have bitcoins as savings and then have bitcoins you're willing to spend um you know even if it's a small amount just decide on what a, a, a good amount is to have just that you don't ever touch that you just want to hold on to and then have a smaller amount as your kind of bitcoin wallet where if it's convenient 
if a store is accepting Bitcoin and, you know, they're giving an incentive to pay with Bitcoin like Gift.com does, then do it. Uh, so, like, when I shop with Gift.com, I get a 3%. I get, a, like, a, a kind of a refund. Not, not really a refund, but there's, like, points that you get. 3% worth of the total goes into your points, and then you can use those points to buy another gift card. So, essentially, you save 3% and off of whatever the, the cost of the, the product is in the long run. And so, to me, that makes it worth it. That makes me say to myself, oh, well, I'd rather go ahead and save that money and buy with Bitcoin and, of course, then there's also all the benefits of being able to pay with Bitcoin because it's easy, it's fast, no credit card nonsense, any of that stuff. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun spending Bitcoin. Let's go back into the Google thing in a moment here. Tom's in New Hampshire. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Tom. Uh, yeah, I was just uh, wanted to point out that, uh, you know, back during the 2012 presidential campaign, I got a chance to heckle Rick Perry, the former uh, the the Texas governor who was running for president at a campaign stop here in Nashua, at which I posed a question: Do you want to legalize drugs now, or do you still want to wait until more cops get themselves killed in shootouts first? And he said that he uh, didn't want to legalize drugs. Well, guess what? On uh, Friday in uh, Killeen, Texas. Uh, three cops chose to get themselves shot in a drug raid, and one of them, after a few days of intense, excruciating pain, finally bit the dust. See what happens when you vote for candidates who don't want to legalize drugs. Defend liberty with ballots, or your fellow citizens are going to defend liberty with bullets. Any objection? Objection overruled. Casket closed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the call, Tom. Appreciate it. He's right, though. I mean, it's certainly the war on drugs has led to the oh. untimely demise of a number of uh, law enforcement officers who otherwise, had they not been enforcing the war on drugs, maybe with us today, because maybe they would have only been looking into uh, rapists and arsonists and murderers and things like that. Not to say that some serial murderer wouldn't take out a cop at some point, uh, but that's more for the movies, I think, than uh, than anything else. Uh, well, the 40, there's uh, I, the, this number, and it is old, uh, it's probably higher than that now, 40,000 drug raids that go on, and excuse me, 40,000 uh, raids that go on in this country. Per year. Per year. Mostly, the vast majority of these raids are c drug related. They they have to do with, with going in and catching people with drugs. Maybe they're armed people with drugs, but mm -hmm. they're still people with drugs. And if it if you cut these things out, I wonder how many raids there would be per year. Period. Four hundred. Yeah, probably like something 1 like that. One percent. I bet you're right. That's just my guess. And so, I mean, if th these are the places that these people get killed, generally, is these raids. And if you cut. If you cut out 99%, here, I'll be generous. Just cut out 90% of the raids. Yep. You cut out 90% of the raids, and you're going to have 90% of the police officers that are killed, not killed. That's true. Good uh, good reason to get rid of the war on drugs. We'll give you another good reason for it here in a moment about legalizing pot and the effect that that has had already, even with just Colorado and Washington doing it. Uh, the effect that's apparently having on the drug cartel's business. We'll talk more about that on the way here. But Google has been slapped with a major decision by the highest European court. This cannot be appealed. The decision is basically that Google is going to have to take down links. Now, they say they're reviewing the decision. I'm sure they are. Uh, to take down links upon request, meaning that if there's some sort of thing that comes up when you get Googled, if your name gets Googled, and something undesirable to you comes up, you could if you're in Europe, presumably, request uh, from Google that they remove that link. And uh, maybe the, the word demand is a more appropriate term because it sounds to me like this court is saying that Google is obligated to remove. In fact, that Google should err on the side of removal. That's correct. When asked to remove something. What are the compliance costs going to be of this? I mean, just it's, it's mind-boggling to think about how expensive it will be to field all of the requests from everyone in Europe who wants to clean up the record online. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can take control here at Free Talk Live. Share your thoughts. Gentlemen, in search of a million-dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride-free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. 
Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com I'm a very bad man, and I'm outside your house. I see you've got an alarm. Outstanding. Because houses with alarms always have the coolest stuff. Unless you've got a door devil reinforcing your door frame. I'll kick your fancy door just like any other door. And I'll be gone before the police even get the call. Don't worry. I'll try not to make a mess. <laughs> door devils are available at participating Ace Hardware stores and locksmiths. Or visit doordevil.com. A congressman recently revealed that legislation totaling 2,900 pages and involving more than $1 trillion was available to members of Congress for less than 48 hours to study and consider. That's over 60 pages of legislation per hour. Do you think anyone read the entire bill? I'm Jim Babka with DownsizedDC.org. Consider a proposal buried in a 3,200-page, $388 billion bill, which would have empowered committee chairmen or their agents to examine Americans' tax returns. When this horrible provision came to light, no one claimed to know how it got into the bill. One congressman questioned said, I didn't write it, I didn't approve it, I wasn't even consulted. If your attorney represented you this way, he might be disbarred. But this is how Congress represents you every day. That's why DownsizedDC.org has created the Read the Bills Act. You can force Congress to read their bills before they pass them at DownsizedDC.org. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now. 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss. A once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial. 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You can take control of the airwaves. Share how you feel about this European court, Supreme Court apparently, or whatever it's called. It's apparently the highest court. This cannot be appealed. This decision that Google has to uh, respond to people's requests to remove content. Now remember, Google doesn't remove content from the internet, but that might as well be what they've been asked to do here because so many people use Google. Google is so ubiquitous amongst searchers online, and I wonder, will this decision also apply to every other search engine who has an office in Europe? Because they're saying that if you send a request to Google saying, I don't want this drunken college photo of mine on your search results for me, they'll have to err on the side of removing that content from their search results. They can't pull it from the internet, so it'll still be there on whatever site that it's been posted. 
But I have to wonder, with this uh, court decision, how far will it end up going? How far will this theme of you get to remove whatever you want end up being pushed? We can explore that here in a moment. Privacy, of course, is valuable, as many people are finding out after the fact. Like, you know, if you don't want people to see drunken photos, you probably shouldn't post them online in the first place. Uh, or at least be seen at parties in, in drunken states. If I want to, if I rem, you know, remove a, a drunken photo of myself and then decide, you know what, it's okay, can I have them reinstate the photo? Oh, God. I just want to know how much time of Google's and <laughs> whatever waste. other search engine I can waste at no cost to myself. Like this court, uh, these people live in some wish land. I have no idea. It's crazy. Well, we'll get back into it, uh, but privacy is important, and you have to take steps. If you want to be private in this day and age, you have to take time and effort and put some money into it. In this case, you don't have to put too much time, effort, and money in because ProXPN can help you protect your privacy online for 5 bucks a month. And the amount of time you have to spend is to go to ProXPN.com slash FTL and download and install the software. I mean, this is literally a minutes-long process. And once you're done with it, you'll be protected because ProXPN encrypts all of your data online. So whatever it is that leaves your computer is encrypted before it reaches your internet service provider, meaning your ISP is no longer able to snoop on what you're doing online. They can at this time, if you're just using your regular internet with no ProXPN, your ISP is probably logging every website you visit, every search term that you enter, and keeping that information for up to five years. You can stop that from happening by visiting ProXPN.com slash FTL. Getting their software for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, or Android devices. Downloading it, installing it, and getting started. And if you go with their premium account uh, for 5 bucks a month, you can get that with our discount code, which is FTL20. You go with the premium account, you get unlimited bandwidth, you can connect to servers around the world, and you also have the ability to privately torrent. ProXPN doesn't keep records of your online browsing habits. You can go to ProXPN.com slash FTL to get started. Our discount code, FTL20, gets you 20% 20 per, uh, 20 off for the lifetime of your account. So again, ProXPN.com slash FTL. Discount code is FTL20. And you get that $5 price when you buy the annual package. You can save even more if you pay with Bitcoin for that annual package. And there is a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. ProXPN.com slash FTL. The decision stunned Google, according to the New York Times, as well as everyone else. Google saying they're going to have to study this decision. I imagine they really want to figure out how the hell to get around this. The court ruled that companies like Google could be obliged. That means they have to. <laughs> Remove links to web pages unless there are particular reasons. Do you think the term "oblige" is slightly less uh, has slightly less of a uh, a serious connotation than "obligated"? No, they're synonyms. I, I I tend to think so, but I just think like sort of in the usage. I don't know. Maybe mm. I'm wrong there. Maybe it's just me. Well, anyway, they say unless there are particular reasons, such as the role played by the data's subject in public life. So the claim would be that. You know, kind of like how uh, there's a certain difference in levels of publicity as far as there's slander and libel uh, laws out there. If you're right. a public figure, you can't claim that you've been libeled, sure. basically. So I, that's kind of seems like what they're getting at here by saying that, well, if you're a public person, you know, then we're not going to tell you to take down the content. But if you're not, then Google will have to pull down whatever is requested. To Here's what down. I want to know. There are people who are public because of internet memes and because sure. of the internet. So, for instance, um, I'm Mustard Man. I'm not sure who Mustard Man is. He's, he's one of the mil, you know, million internet memes out well, there. I'm thinking of the, um, right now, I'm thinking of the hippie girl that has this uh, large yeah. uh, beret thing and, and all the dreadlocks, and, and she gets all these silly memes. I'm sure, I don't I have any idea what this woman's politics is, but she'll have, like, you know, thinks. Uh, thinks um, uh, marijuana is uh, or uh, thinks that uh, guns should be illegal smokes marijuana yeah um you know that kind of thing so it's got this hippie girl who's got a, a really square jawline but is is quite attractive will she now be able to request takedown of right what every... if she's like i am sick and tired of people ascribing i'm a republican you know or whatever it is that she you know, i have no idea but i mean is she just gonna be able to rest her picture from the internet i mean she's a she is a celebrity at this point based solely on one picture of herself at yep. what appears to be some kind of festival this this situation the story is ridiculous it's just a, a symptom symptom of of our western culture i think and and we're so prosperous and so so 
lazy and we've just got such stupid things to worry about. Data about you does not belong to you. Um, switching gears here, data about you yeah. does not belong to you. You can't. The only way you can own any information is if you're the only person who knows it. And once it's out, it's out, and it's not yours. You can't stop it. Yeah, you can't put uh, the cat back in the bag in this case, and that's basically what the court is attempting to try to have happen, at least at the Google level. Of course, I have to wonder if they get away with this. If Google begins to, you know, if Google starts jumping through this hoop and they set up some sort of link removal compliance department. And they actually start pulling down links. How long is it going to be before this somebody else says, well, okay, great. I can remove links from Google and Yahoo or whatever other search engines there still exist. Uh, I can remove links from those places, but that doesn't take the content that's offensive down from the Internet. I need to be able to remove it from the source. I need to be able to remove it from the offensive website. And then how, I mean, if they can say that Google can remove, yeah. has to remove links, they can also say that you can force another website to pull down their uh, their links or their content. Well, one of these, uh, I, you know, I'll bet you where the place where the foot goes in the door is this uh, revenge porn stuff. Yeah, sure. That's not so very popular. There are websites out there that will, for whatever reason, host uh, your uh, you know, pictures, naked pictures of your ex-girlfriend or boyfriend, whomever you are. That's right. And you can, I guess, shame and belittle this person uh, with pictures of, of them and, you know, compromising positions. And, uh, you know, I think this stuff's horrible, horrible. But where does the free speech start and stop? Well, that's just it. What's more horrible is the idea that someone could force content to come off the internet i think that is a tragic day this is a horrible decision that is going to be very detrimental to free speech online the decision also said that a search engine would have to remove the links even when the original publication itself on those pages is lawful said the court the ruling would not necessarily require that the original publisher of the information delete it from its own website, arguing that individual websites are harder for users to find than information gathered through the data-sweeping capabilities of a search engine like Google's. Al Verney, spokesman for Google, said in a statement the decision was a very disappointing ruling for search engines and online publishers in general, and the company would take time to analyze the implications. Google was very surprised that the judgment differs so dramatically from a preliminary ruling by the court last year that mostly went in the company's favor, he said. Some internet experts said the court had devised an unwieldy and expensive formula for search engines like Google that could lead to less information being searchable online. Orla Linsky, a lecturer at the London School of Economics, said, Having search engines conduct a public interest test is problematic, not least because they will be challenged to carry out the kind of thorough assessments that can be done by courts and other public authorities. I expect the default action by search engines will be to take down information in response to complaints. This is chilling. This is terrible. It's what, crazy. What will Google do? It seems to me that if this if this ruling is as it sounds like it is, their only option, if they want to keep their business going as is, is to get out of those countries and locate in places that are more from, uh, friendly to free speech. More on the way. You can take control here at Free Talk Live. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial, 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. 
Hey everyone, have you heard about the no-no hair removal device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host, Cheryl, for no-no hair removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my no-no. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No-no hair has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors. So it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the no-no, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card. And you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible no-no hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live, and you can take control of the airwaves toll-free here. Apparently, you can now take control of your search results if you are living in Europe. And the European court is now saying Google and other search engines must respond to takedown requests, meaning that they'll take down the results, not the content. They can't control the, the Internet servers, but they can control the content of the Google results for whatever it is you're searching for. And that's uh, apparently what they're going to be doing. It's pretty chilling on the whole idea of free speech, being able to do research on individuals could become very, very difficult if this comes to pass. Google is going to be looking in detail at the court's ruling, probably to try to see how they can wriggle out from under it, uh, but it's not its not looking good so far. Uh, back to the story from the New York Times, our toll-free number, by the way, 855-450-FREE. Brought to you by ProXPN. That's true. So, uh, again, they're saying, you know, one of the uh, lecturers at the London School of Economics is saying this is a real problematic thing if Google and other search engines now have to conduct public interest tests on content that is being requested to be removed. And they say they expect the default actions will be to take down the information in response to complaints. And then what? Then you get to appeal the takedown, and then there's some sort of a process where some executive at Google or some you know flunky decides that this is an appropriate thing to take down or was not an appropriate thing to take down, and how much time and effort are people going to have to pour into this this 
never ending battle well, between I wanna, people. I, you know, this is it gets crazy because not only will people want information about themselves taken down, but they'll want information about other people taken down too. Sure. And how how I'm asking you people in Radio Land, how do the does Google or some other company verify that you are who you say you are or whoever the emailer is is who they say they right, are right the e- right the emailer is who they say they are so uh, i can go make a mark edge email account at google tonight and take down my very best pictures from google image search <laughs> right <laughs> you know you can leave all the ugly ones right. you want to take the, the, the good ones the um or uh, i mean you know people feel passionately about several debates out there there's the people on the one side of the vaccines the other side of the vaccines creationism versus uh you know evolution you know the whole you you get the idea there's every kind of argument going on out there where both sides call each other stupid and how are they going to react how, how are those people that are so emotionally invested going to react oh i want this article taken down or that article taken down for this reason well, or presumably that reason. they'll only be able to pull content that has to do with the individual in question. There may be an individual. In, there's an individual in many articles. It's true. Are we just not going to be able to write articles about people anymore? Trade Group for Information Technology Company says the court's decision poses a threat to free expression in Europe. The ruling opens the door to large-scale private censorship in Europe, says James Waterworth, head of Brussels' office for the Computer and Communications Industry Association, which has Facebook, Microsoft, and Google among its members, as well as European companies like BT and T-Mobile. While the ruling likely means to offer protections, our concern is it could also be misused by politicians or others with something to hide who could demand to have information taken down, he said. The judgment on Tuesday reversed what had seemed a preliminary victory for Google in June of 2013 when an advisor to the court, Nilo Joskinen, is, uh, issued an opinion implying that Google did not need to remove the links. The European case began in 2009 when an attorney in Spain complained that entering his name in the search engine led to legal notices dating back to 1998 in an online version of a Spanish newspaper that detailed his accumulated debts and the forced sale of his property. The attorney said that uh, the debt issues had been resolved many years earlier and were no longer relevant. When the newspaper that had published the information, La Vanguardia, refused to remove the notices, and when Google refused to expunge the links, Mr. Coseja, the attorney, complained to the Spanish Data Protection Agency that his rights to the uh, protection of his personal data were being violated. The Spanish authority ordered Google to remove the links in July of 2010, but it did not impose any order on La Vanguardia, the newspaper. Google challenged the order, and the National High Court of Spain referred the case to the European High Court for advice on how to rule. Tuesday's ruling, while indicating uh, what the new legal framework will be for deciding such issues in European Union member states, sent the original case back to the Spanish court to settle the complaint. And whatever the uh, court might decide in terms of the newspaper's obligation to remove the material, said it was a vic- uh, his lawyer said it was a victory because Google would be required to remove the online links. Well, yeah, his lawyer said it was a victory. His lawyer just won a case against the biggest company in the world. Of course, it's a victory. So now, Vanguardia, this newspaper, again, this is going back to the Supreme Court. Or not the, not the Supreme Court, but the, um, the Spanish Court. So now the Spanish Court gets to decide on whether or not the newspaper should remove the content. Oh, well, this lawyer says he's had his uh, debt issues taken care of. And look, it looks like he did have the debt issues taken care of. So shouldn't the fact that he ever had a debt issue Let's be removed from his, his bankruptcy? That's what they're talking about here. So I know. This isn't over yet. The next step could be that the Spanish court decides that La Vanguardia has to remove the content from its site. Here's what I want to know. Did this these courts just plunge Europe into a new dark age. Are they going to essentially get a new dumber version of the internet that the rest of us don't get? That's what it sounds like. I mean, I think it's just it's just feel good crap that's not going to be enforced. Well, Google's under a court order here. I mean, this is uh this is pretty serious. I mean, this is the highest court in Europe. If they don't jump through the hoops, then there could probably be some sort of uh consequence. I'd them. be really curious as to what the highest court in Europe could do to google contempt charges like what on who whoever their executives are i suppose i don't know i don't know how that works when you 
go after a corporation. I would presume you would be hitting up the board of directors or the uh, not the CEO. my department. The, the board of directors doesn't make day to day operation choices. Well, okay, we, then it would be the we CEO. have issued a memo down to the. Uh, we don't know what else to do. Mm. I don't know, Ian. I'm just saying that it could be very difficult for somebody's liable for that uh, for this decision to could to be. enforce this decision. By the court's demand. and Google could just shut off the internet to those uh, judges. Chick, chick, quack. Yeah, right. This is how you and your kids <laughs> like it. We've been very happy, says the attorney in this case, because even though we were confident all along, this has been a very difficult process given the massive means that Google could use to defend itself, said Joaquin Munoz, partner at Abanlex, Spanish law firm that specializes in technology cases. He went on to say the fundamental point is that consumers will now know what rules of the game the rules of the game are and how to defend their rights. They don't know the rules of the game? The rules of the game are if you put a picture on the internet, it stays on the internet forever. The rules of the game are if something happens um, and ends up on the internet, it stays on the internet forever. That's the rule of the game. It's simple. Yeah, and I'm sorry, but you don't have rights to whatever's already been put out there. You don't control that. Think about whatever news stories you've read today or yesterday or last week. Do you have does do, do the people that are in those news stories have a right to remove those things from your brain? I mean it's ridiculous. Let's go to the phones. You can share your thoughts here. 855 450 free Ken's in Iowa. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian Johnny Ray and Mark. Hello Ken. Oh, hey, sorry. Uh phone went crazy there for a second. Sorry, right, go ahead. Yeah. Phone went crazy there for a second. Yep, go ahead. Yeah, I was wondering if you guys had heard about this. Uh, I'm here in Iowa, and we have uh, my representative for my town here in Boone to the state uh, is against the use of uh, medical uh, marijuana uh, due to the fact that he says supposedly that a couple people died out in Colorado recently from eating edible cannabis. Haven't heard the story. That was yesterday, and then the day before, well, that's why, that's why I was calling. The day before, I heard something about that on another radio station out here. So I'm just I heard some guy it. ate the six times the recommended dose of some sort of edible cannabis, uh, and uh, it passed away or something like that. Hmm. Well, edibles, uh, uh, I've I've heard, can get much larger dose. I've heard so, you couldn't smoke enough of marijuana, Yeah, but I've too. never heard of anybody dying from any Me kind either. of cannabis. No, but in theory, I mean, if you swallowed enough hash oil, you could do something. I remember that the one story I had heard about was uh, a dude in a, an airplane who was smuggling hash oil in balloons in his stomach. The balloon popped yeah, well, open yeah. and spilled the hash oil inside his his in, insides, and yeah. uh, and that he died. That might be a little something. different. Though. Yeah, it is. It is a little bit different. So, what were you saying though about uh, the Iowa? Uh, yeah, in Iowa here, um, we just recently the uh, legislature. Uh, passed, and it was mainly because there was a lot of parents of uh, epileptic kids that uh, uh, were bothering everybody down there in Des Moines about passing this. But the but the bill that they've passed, that the uh, governor is waiting to sign or not sign, is that you can go out of state to get cannabis oil, and you can bring it back. And it's legal, but there's you can't sell it here in the state. But we're still waiting for the governor to uh, decide whether he wants to sign that. There's or worse not. bills. It's it's something. Now well, you know, step in the right direction. Well, yeah, it is. But thanks for the call, Ken. Appreciate it. Eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Coming up, uh, the Mexican cartels actually having a tough time. Speaking of marijuana legalization. It's the opposite of what a lot of people thought. We'll tell you more about it on the way here on Free Talk Live. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs... 
Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Tuesday, May 13th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.48 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,291 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $438. Antiwar.com reports the Russian government has announced that it respects the will of the people of the Donetsk and Luhansk regions after Sunday's referendum, in which voters there overwhelmingly backed the People's Republic of Donetsk. Exactly what this means isn't clear, and Russia was similarly vague on their view of the matter, beyond saying that now more than ever they support renewed dialogue between Ukraine and the protesters. Russian officials did not address the calls from some in the protest movement to consider a session into the Russian Federation, and indications are that Russia would prefer to not see that happen, as integrating the impoverished industrial area would be extremely costly. Ukraine's interim government itself was created as a result of protest and has ruled out any negotiation with the eastern protesters whom they have dubbed terrorists. They have likewise condemned the referendum. The White House announced that it will never recognize the results of Sunday's referendum in eastern Ukraine. You've heard of shinybadges.com, but you need to check out the new causes tab. Every item in that section includes a donation to a worthy Liberty project like Shire Sharing. So go to shinybadges.com, click on the new causes tab, and get yourself a quality product that not only supports the cause you believe in, but starts a conversation with your neighbors. Plus, get a free gift when you pay with Bitcoin at shinybadges.com. The Global Post reports, on June 4th, a quarter century will have passed since the defining moment of post-Mao China when the People's Liberation Army's bloody crackdown destroyed a peaceful citizens' movement demanding political change in Beijing. A perennial question as the anniversary approaches is whether the Chinese people will ever again attempt to force their one-party government to change. But just as the tensions that culminated in blood 25 years ago had actually been building up for years, the Communist Party of China appears to be dealing with another widespread buildup of dissatisfied citizens. This time around, things are much different. China is more open to the world than ever. Its internet, despite heavy censorship, is still a valuable platform for sharing ideas, and a growing number of citizens are willing to go to prison for their beliefs. Global Post spoke with three vocal critics of China's political status quo, a Tiananmen survivor, a lawyer, and a writer. Despite diverse backgrounds, they agree that the party will not reform itself of its own free will, nor will outside pressure force it to do so. Change is necessary, they say, and must come from the Chinese people. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. 
The Bitcoin News Service reports the Bitcoin Investment Trust took a survey of over 1,000 people from Wall Street to Silicon Valley for their thoughts about Bitcoin. The evidence displays a correlation between knowledge of Bitcoin and a positive perception of Bitcoin. Of the people polled, almost half, 45%, found out about Bitcoin last year, and 52% claim to have heard about it in 2012 or before. Some good news is that once people knew about Bitcoin, 68% of them had positive views and thought it would change the world or solve a real problem. 66% of respondents plan to make a Bitcoin purchase this year. This survey comes in conflict with what the general public thinks of Bitcoin, with nearly three quarters of U.S. residents not being familiar with Bitcoin, according to a study released by PBS in February of this year. The PBS survey also found that one third of respondents between the age of 18 and 24 believe that Bitcoin helps the U.S. dollar. One thing that is for sure is the juxtaposition between the general public and the financial slash tech of Fluent, which illustrates how Bitcoin will probably be used. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Shortly after being fired from his coding position at a downsizing tech firm, 34-year-old Irvine native Sam Morrison told reporters Monday that he believed he had finally achieved the sort of work-life balance for which he has long strived. Yeah, ever since I got fired, it just seems like my whole entire routine is just clicking. I go for jogs in the afternoon, spend nights with my wife and kid, I'm even cooking more. Everything just feels right. Morrison, who since his termination has found time to pick up reading again, eat a healthy diet, and sleep more than five hours a night, noted that his unemployment has allowed him to find a level of harmony in his personal life that he never before thought possible. For a while there, I thought that I was going to spend the rest of my life constantly worrying about getting to the office on time and pleasing my boss. Outside of the late payments on the house, the mounting credit card debt, the rapidly depleting savings, my life is essentially stress-free. I honestly couldn't be happier. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and we're launching into the second hour of the program. You can, of course, bring up anything that you want. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and you can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com. And enjoy the features there. Had a disturbing story about Google and other search engines may be required now by this new court decision to remove links upon request from their search results. You can still comment on that. Also coming up, pot legalization is making things difficult on the drug cartels. It's the opposite from what a lot of the people who supported the war on drugs thought would happen. Uh, We will give you more information about that and with you tonight, it's Ian here. Johnny Ray. And Mark. We're jumping right into your phone calls first, though. Lot is in Indiana listening to WIMS in Michigan City. Hello, Lot. Namaste, brothers. Welcome. Um, what I wanted, well, thank you. Um, what I wanted to ask is, is, is it possible that evolution, uh, people who believe in only in evolution, and people who are creationists, could coexist and actually find that their belief systems are very, very similar to each other. But yet, I mean, I can see how they could be observed differently. But if you, I, as me personally, being what I consider, I guess, if you had to put a label on it, the closest one would be maybe a co-creation. Now, <clears throat> I believe in a higher power. I believe in the source of all creation. Uh, whatever name you would like to insert, you know. Um, but I believe Nancy. that in the way that I the way that I observe evolution is is that it's the ability to learn, and I find that, that we currently are in a new state of evolution. Instead of it being more of like what our physical bodies are doing, it's what our conscious parts are doing. And we have an opportunity to, I feel, to learn from what it is that's going on and realize that if there are things like the hatred and the negativity forces, that you can choose to ultimately remove them from your existence and therefore remove it from your sense of reality, although it doesn't mean that it goes away. It's just that you are not allowing it to affect you from re- 
doing meaning positive. Yes, I, I like that. I, 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 I completely agree with you. I think that the problem here is there's a payoff. There's a payoff for people who um, are in these arguments, for instance, the creationist and uh, evolutionist arguments. The, you know, on one side you have the, and, and I'm, I'm basically where you're at. I think that there's a God, uh, but I believe all the stuff that I find in science. So, you know, that's fine by me. Did he create the Big Bang? Okay, if there was a Big Bang, I'm not certain. That's still just a theory. But, um, like, for instance, the evolutionists get to feel superior. It gets to. It feels good to be right and to make the other person wrong, and this is, you know, this is a, a tremendous motivating force for people these days, and probably has been for all uh, humankind. Well, and, and uh, they've always had the but, position that one side's right and one side's wrong, but both and, could be right. And the other side of, I don't, I don't know whether, but I don't know. I mean, the thing is, is that you sort of. Uh, this is just we should be saying things like, well, this is what we think or whatever. And I think that the other side, oh, the uh, the creationist side, often um, I believe that Christianity has a, uh, a, a sort of a, a long cultural history of persecution. They feel the persecution. You hear you have the dominant religious force in the dominant nation on the planet, and they can still sort of uh, somehow feel persecuted. You know, and they're not being thrown to the lions anymore. But they still have 1,700 years worth of persecution conversations. So there's a payoff there. Oh, oh we're the lowly ones. And but the Jews do too. I, I, I mean, the Jewish the, the Jewish culture does too. I mean, they've you can see throughout history that how they've been abused. And I understand that they're not the majority. And what I wanted to say was is in I, I've seen the down like the the, the the numbers counting from Christianity, and I see more numbers increasing in Islam now. It's a different, you know, it's changing, but they're also doing the same thing. Like, they're feeling persecution, so they, they come up and they say, well, we're going to defend ourselves, just like in the Crusades, where the Catholics decided to stand up and, you know, you either believe in it or you die. But my question, instead of having who's right or wrong, can we just ask the question of, okay, well, if we can agree to disagree, that neither one of us are agreeing on the fact that, you know, who's right or who's wrong, can't we just embedder ourselves and focus on that? I'm for it, um, and oftentimes I do not dis participate in these d debates when they go on on Facebook and things like that when I see them. I just find them to be a waste of time. But if you attempt to have that conversation, it's – it can be very difficult to break somebody out of their paradigm, be their paradigm, um, you know, showing that they're the they're right and you're wrong, or their paradigm is that uh, you are uh, that they're persecuted, or whatever the paradigm might be. I tried to have a conversation with somebody that I consider to be like-minded on many many issues about how I believe in a God that's different than the the, the God of the Bible, and. Like, they just didn't want to hear that. It was really frustrating, and, you know, every once in a while, somebody else would chime in and call me a dum-dum, and whatever that was, and I was trying to have was this. Was this an online thing? Yep, this was on I Facebook, see. and it was intending to have this conversation as genuinely and openly as possible, and, you know, frankly, it, it, it was a lot like a mudslinging contest. I agree. I totally understand where you're coming from. I know that experience. But instead of my experiences being over online, I'm actually having face-to-face -face conversations with my father, my uncle, uh, just the, the, the ones who had bringing these teachings on. And what I find funny is, is that they're sitting there and trying to you know, defend themselves because they feel like they're being attacked. But if they really decided to just take the opportunity to listen, if all I got to do is just listen to what it is that's being said, Listen and observe it for just a moment and then let it go. And what you'll find is, is that I'm not trying to break you. I'm only trying to strengthen your bond, strengthen your connection that you have. Because to strengthen somebody else's connection, if I can do that, then I feel benefited because I helped somebody else. And then the objective is you keep going and you keep just like a wildfire. And... It's hard because there's a lot of people out there, yes, they don't they feel that way because they don't want to hear it because they don't agree with it. But it's if they take, if anyone takes the opportunity to just listen to what's being said. So are you saying that go. you want just to clarify, you're saying you think that uh, creationists and evolutionists should just call a truce and uh, and call it a day. Is that that basically the point? Focus yeah. Yeah, focus on the benefit of humanity. Raising the, uh, the the awareness towards people of the truth, 
And truth is not something that you can necessarily prove on paper. It is something that is felt. Mm. And, and that's the problem. They both feel knowledge. like they uh, they have the truth. Yeah, but they're <laughs> they're doing their job. They're they're arguing about what's important to them, and they can help the discussion for the people who are reading the arguments and the people who are interested in the truth. But people, any one person's knowledge is usually really narrowly defined by what their interests are. So most of the people arguing and thinking about this stuff are ignorant of the facts, and they don't line up on either side because of what the facts are, but because of what their prejudices were from the beginning. That said, I do appreciate where you're coming from, Lot, and I definitely like the viewpoint, the perspective, the spiritual perspective that you have, and I thank you for the call tonight. And I, I wish people would just drop this stuff and, you know, listen to each other, but uh, when you're arguing, you're by definition not listening, and so I, I wish more people would not argue and attempt to instead persuade and listen to the other people they're talking about. He, so I share your concerns, and thank you, Lot. He has the added problem of talking about this with older family members of his same gender. So, mm. um, I mean, you know, as a dad, to some extent, it's my job to teach my son how the world works. And if you're a you know, Bible believing Christian, it's I mean, it's a terrifying thing to have your uh, your progeny, the most valuable individual on the planet to you, um, you know, going to go to hell or whatever the uh, the situation is. So he has a very difficult row to hoe here trying to change the minds of uh, of of adult, you know, of parent of the parent that's actually the same sex as him too. It's just, you know, it's tough. Let's continue. We've got Liberty Phoenix on the line in Illinois. You're on Free Talk Live via Skype. Hey guys, I just kind of wanted to add on to what Lot was talking about. Um he was mentioning that uh, well I think it all comes down to belief. Um, we need to not have beliefs. We need to have good ideas because a belief is really hard to change. Stand by. We're going to bring you back. You can expound on that here in moments. More with Liberty Phoenix and your calls welcome here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733 to ProXPN toll-free line here on Free Talk Live. Angioprim can unclog blocked arteries and improve blood flow in all parts of your body. Angioprim is oral chelation, easy, simple, liquid oral chelation. You take it with juice before breakfast and forget about it. Angioprim works fast, unlike old-fashioned chelation that takes hours. Just log on to angioprim.com. That's angioprim, A-N-G-I-O-P-R-I-M, angioprim.com. Angioprim users say they have more energy, more strength, more endurance. Increased circulation and blood flow will make all your body parts work better. Log on to angioprim.com. Angioprim.com to get more information on how you can get started and start feeling better, having fun, and doing more again. Lots more. Talk to a trained Angioprim consultant. Call Angioprim toll free at 877 882 7221. That's 877 882 7221. Or log on for complete information. Angioprim.com. That's Angioprim.com. Find out how Angioprim can work for you. Get the facts about Angioprim at Angioprim.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 9938 Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, 
and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Have you ever wanted to move to the land of Libpair, Libertarian Paradise, where there's fun for everyone that doesn't initiate force on others, fun for the kids, parties for the adults, buy and sell in silver or Bitcoin, scenic hikes and gun shoots, speeches to educate us all? The Porcupine Freedom Festival is Libpair in the White Mountains of New Hampshire for a week this summer, June 22nd to 29th. Get your tickets now before there's no more room. Porkfest, the event of a lifetime. Porkfest.com. That's P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live. Take control here, toll-free, at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. Skype into the show, username LRN. Dot FM with you tonight in here, Johnny Ray and Mark. And don't forget about Blockchain's new merchant app. If you've got a physical location where you want to accept bitcoins from people, your customers, maybe new customers who are not yet your customers because you don't yet accept bitcoin, you've got to have the right tools. And a merchant app is what you need. There are only a few of them out there. And now Blockchain has entered the fray with their competitor, the Blockchain.com merchant app. You've heard of Blockchain.info a million times here on Free Talk Live. That's where you can go and get an easy-to-use personal wallet for Bitcoin. But if you're going to do business and accept Bitcoin payments, you've got to have a wallet that only accepts money. You know, if your employees are using it, you don't want your employee to have access to your bank account. So you only want the employee to be able to accept money for you. And that's what Blockchain.com's merchant app does. In fact, there are no terms of service or ID requirements to get started. You just go to Blockchain.com, you download the app for your preferred Android device. And zero fees, by the way, for Blockchain.com and their merchant app. Check it out at Blockchain.com. It's available now. As we go back to the phones and your calls and thoughts, Liberty Phoenix is with us in Illinois, and you're back on Free Talk Live now. Liberty, uh, you were kind of being drowned out by the music there a moment ago. Can you recap what you were saying? Yeah, well, I just wanted to continue on what Lot was saying, and I think he had mentioned that you know creationists and non-creationists have a lot more in common than they really think, and I think that really resonates a lot with me because for me personally, um, I tend to gravitate more towards a new age philosophy where, you know, you, you base your, your ideas on, on mathematics and trial and error. Um, and I just wanted to say it, it, it resonates with me stronger than any other like belief system. And I say beliefs with air quotes because it gives you the opportunity of accepting that everything is right. I mean, if a creationist is correct, that doesn't negate the fact that a Buddhist is also right. I mean, I think it's yes. completely plausible for them all to be right at the same time because in my view of the world, everything is possible and everything has happened because once you think of something, it becomes real in a fourth thought dimension, if you will. Um, so, I mean, you had you had called into Off the Air Live, in. And you had mentioned uh, panentheism. And That's I did right. a lot of research on that, and that really made a lot of sense to me, um, as opposed to pantheism, which... Well, can you posit- define uh, those for the listeners? Since you've done some research, you could uh, explain what those things are. As far as I know, panentheism says that the divine is everything. And then pantheism says that the divine is everything that's organic. Like, not necessarily my, my ashtray is not necessarily divine, and that would be pantheism. Um, that you know, God and is 
all of us and we are all the same energy um, is what panentheism would be. And pantheism says, no, that's just the actual organic um, creatures are part of all, all of the divine. So that that's about? not that wasn't my understanding, but I'm certainly no expert on this. My understanding of the difference between pantheism and panentheism is that a pantheist believes that everything is God uh, or the divine or all that is or whatever. And that would include, you know, the desk and the ashtray, um, all that you can see, essentially. And then the panentheist is someone who believes that, but also believes in the metaphysical, believes that, you know, there are maybe other dimensions and that there is some sort of thing, you know, there's there's nothing, right? And there's this, whatever it is that all of this comes from, that, that other space, that non-space, uh, that the metaphysical, that which is not physical, that that is also the divine. So uh, the panentheist, as I understand it, acknowledges the metaphysical, whereas the pantheist only acknowledges the the physical. That's my understanding, but I could be, you know, wrong about that. Any yeah, other I think thoughts? that's a little bit closer to 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 what the articles were saying. Um, pantheism yeah, I mean, is much more popular out there. Panentheism seems more. Uh, it, it doesn't seem as well known as as pantheism. Like for instance, pantheism has a a pretty active page on Facebook that I enjoy uh, following what they what they write because I I still like you know pantheism. Uh, it's just that I do I, I do like the idea of the you know that which you can't see also being part of the divine. I guess essentially what I'm trying to say is that I just wish that all these other mainstream religious organizations, Christianity, Islam, Judaism. Baha'i, I mean, they would if they would simply just accept that their truth is true for them and other people's truth is true for themselves. Because I think truth in and, and objectivism is subjective. I mean, if well, a Christian dies, what's to say that he doesn't go to a heaven with white gates and St. Peter? And if a if an atheist dies, what's to say that he doesn't just stop being? Well, what's to say if hmm. a, but don't but don't Christians and Muslims uh, believe that people go to he that other people go to hell? I mean, if if I believe Hitler went to hell, what's to say that he didn't go to hell? But what if Hitler didn't believe in a hell? So I I don't know that this the, what is true for you is true thing really sort of resonates with me. I, I, you know, for me, it doesn't resonate. Um, for me, so what you you're believe saying, there's one truth, Mark, that there's an objective <laughs> truth. I don't think you can be right about this, and I can be right about this. You know, that was George Carlin's philosophy. Also, he believed that what you thought happened was going to happen to you. So the the old the the old guy telling you don't don't waste your breath on me, kid. I'm going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> he is. I think it's the uh, I, I think it's a the biggest of cop outs is what I think. What the big? What do you mean the biggest? Of I don't want to have this conversation, so I'm just going to say <laughs> that everybody's right, um, and yeah, that, that's what it sounds like. I don't like know. To me. I kind of, well, I'm kind of with Liberty cop. Phoenix on this one. Yeah, that can't be a cop out. I mean, it's simply accepting that other people's truth can be true for themselves because we all live our own subjective lives. We all have our own subjective realities that we can interpret for ourselves. If well, there's, a, there's that evidence, right, that, uh, like, uh, for instance, quantum physics, my basic understanding of what I've learned about it, and that's not much, uh, is that, you know, we're all creating our own reality. Uh, so I, I totally believe that it could be possible that everybody's belief systems come true for them. That could very well be true. And, again, you can't really prove that there is anyone else, right? Like, you know that uh, you're experiencing what you're experiencing but you can't prove that everyone else is in a computer program. Did the computer programs, when they threw you in jail, um, did you know that they would put a bullet in your head if you tried hard enough not to uh, to resist them? I don't get your question. I'm just saying. You're saying that you can't prove there's anybody else, but in fact, um, they operate a lot like people with uh, free will. Yeah, they sure do. It's a very convincing system. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead, Phoenix. Um, well, I just I don't understand why Mark would be so closed-minded like that. Closed-minded? Something, is, really something is true or it is not true. It, no, I'm not going to have a conversation with you that something... It. What's that? Subjectively to each individual that experiences it. How can something be true if you and I can't agree on what it is? Because all of creation stems from thought. Right? If, if, if I think that I'm going to have a studio in my basement long enough and hard enough, I'll make it true. It will become that. Um, if I not if I, I think, think that studio is a rocket ship, well then in your in your reality that studio is a rocket. But ship. imagine if I'm in your studio talking like it's a rocket ship. Am I? Ex are you experiencing truth? Or are you experiencing a man who's bat s crazy? 
No, I'm experiencing my own truth, and you're experiencing a, a rocket ship. Liberty Phoenix, awesome. thank you for the call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you. Usually hey, you have to do more than you think to build a studio. You do have to actually do something. Try using a different username on Skype and see if you get us next time. Make that your objective truth. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can take control here and bring up whatever's on your mind. Tell us what your truth is. Is there one objective truth? Is there one true answer? It's Free Talk Live. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com, or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. Goplock.org slash pivothead. To ensure that a record of the truth of police interactions exists and is accessible, we each need to fill. That's why we're happy to announce the Accountability Through Transparency video contest the winner of which will receive a pair of pivot head sunglasses. For more information and to submit your video entry, go to cutblock.org slash pivot head. One, document with a camera, a police employee exhibiting double standards or the standards we expect them to live up to. This can be done while on foot, during a vehicle stop, while submitting an open records request, etc. Two, upload your video to your YouTube channel. Three, fill out the form at cutblock.org slash pivot head by the deadline of midnight Eastern Standard Time, May 23rd, 2014. Four, the winner chosen by contest sponsors will be notified by email and the Pivot Head sunglasses will be shipped once a mailing address is received. Coplock.org slash Pivot Head. Should you be able to earn an honest living free from senseless government interference? The Institute for Justice thinks so. That's why we've spent years defending hardworking men and women from pointless government regulations. Nationwide, IJ has created opportunity by reducing government power, but there is still more work to be done. Visit our website today at ij.org. Let IJ take care of the government so you can take care of your business. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $40 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $40 price only lasts through Porkfest, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at keenvention.info. Visit keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm.
This is Free Talk Live, and you can take control of the airwaves toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features there. Got a lot of features on our website. We give them all away. Of course, our website is uh, supported by other great organizations. Our site is freetalklive.com. One of my favorites, Shiny Badges. Yes, Shiny Badges. You can go there and check out all the great uh, sort of little pins that they have. They're beautiful. They're about an inch square, um, and they're the the sort of gold ones with the, the pushback pin. And you can wear them anywhere, and I think they really attract attention. But if you haven't been there in a while, check out the Causes tab. Every item there includes a donation to a worthy Liberty Project. So, for instance, the Anonymous pen includes a donation to the Electronic Front, uh, Frontier Foundation. The Shire Society pen includes a, a donation to Shire Sharing. The Thanks But No Tanks pen includes a donation to the Bearcat Defense Fund. So go to shinybadges.com. Click on the Causes tab and get yourself some quality liber- Liberty products that not only start a conversation, and these pens do start conversations um, with your neighbors, but it supports the causes that you believe in. Plus, get a free gift if you purchase in Bitcoin, shinybadges.com. All right, let's continue with your calls and thoughts. Justin is on the line. He's in West Virginia via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Go ahead, Justin. You're on the air. Hey, guys, I wanted to talk a bit about the subject you were having earlier about creationism and evolution. Sure. Um, Well, I was at a uh, conference in Las Vegas a few months back, and uh, they had this wonderful um, uh, documentary on uh, the brain theory. It's a subspect of string theory, and um, it had a lot to do with creationism of, um, you know, the colliding of uh, these, you know, supermassive structures that created the Big Bang and every other different version of reality. Um. But what they were saying was that they had um, everybody's thoughts and everybody's sort of beliefs would splinter off into alternate dimensions as part of string theory. Um, And I actually got into a very valid argument with a lot of people here in West Virginia about that. I mean, these guys, these guys were, I'm going to say rather pissed off. I'm glad I was armed. Um, But they were, uh, they were like, no, God is this, God is that. And I said, well, can you define it for me? And I went to five different churches around here, and they couldn't define what God was other than the thing that created everything. Okay. And, you know, when, when, I, have, when I have these conversations with people, it's like I, I would prefer to have a more uh, quantifiable, you know, solution to life. I'm, I'm not one of the ones that just take everything on the chin for granted, you know, for granted. Um, but what the, what the gentleman was saying earlier about, you know, all religions being correct and all, you know, all faiths or whatever or belief systems, they can be. But what do you think about the alternate dimension theory of as soon as you have an idea, it sparks an entirely new, you know, part of the membrane? I, I think it's interesting. I think it's far out. I, I think it's interesting, but I, I, you know, what to me it means. Um, I, 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 I think it's very difficult to know this. Like it's completely unprovable, and that we all operate in the world as objectivists. That A is A. Um, that, Absolutely. You know, they, <laughs> you know, we don't imagine that uh, when we're stepping forward, you know, on the pavement, that suddenly the pavement's going to fall out beneath us because you know we thought about it. Um, and as a matter of fact, I have thought about that, and the pavement didn't fall out on, beneath me, giving me credence to the idea that in fact reality is reality and that our goofy ideas about it are just goofy ideas to explain our existence or whatever and i think that's fine i've got goofy ideas i like them very much but um i i I don't think no i don't think that it uh, splinters off into different uh dimensions but it would be completely un impossible to prove otherwise Right. And that's the point. I mean, I, that's the argument that I always give to these. Um, and, you know, no offense to anybody who does have a religion, but to these religious people who say my way is this way and you're going to go to hell if you believe otherwise. It's like what happens if my hell is the Playboy Mansion? I mean, I'm cool with that. You know, do, do I get to go to that hell or how about a Chinese hell that has 5000 hells? I've heard that, uh, you know, many Satanists believe that, uh, you know, Satan's going to rule hell down there and that life's going to be pretty good. I don't know. Um, you know, I. Where do you find Satanists that actually believe in Satan? It seems like they're all a bunch of atheists. <laughs> oh, I know, right? Yeah, I, I was actually at that um, that coronation party that they had for the statue. Where was um, this? There was a. Uh, I can't remember exactly uh, the exact location, but I think it was in Illinois. I, don't quote me on that, but it was a little bit ago. Uh, but they had a new one recently. I think that was in um, Georgia or Mississippi, somewhere in the deep south. And they had they had a uh, they had a fight. You should. 
I'll, I'll try to look it up for you, but they had a um, a big argument about these guys that brought a another Satanist statue at a town hall that said, look, if you can have the Ten Commandments, I can have my statue of Satan. It's just as credible. And my God, those people blew up. Uh, you were but, there for that? Yes, sir, I was. Um, <laughs> and these these cats were like, I mean, they were they were insane. I mean, I didn't go there for that reason. I was just I was out on a ride and I saw a bunch of people and I was like, hey, I like to stir shit up. Oh, we can't so, say that on the air. We gotta let you go. Thanks goodbye. though. Appreciate the call and the thoughts. He was saying he likes to stir things up and he wanted to go and check out what all those people were doing over there. And so that's how he ended up. He's a biker, and that's how he ended up at uh, this that ceremony. There you go. This idea that you can create universes by with each thought you have at first blush seems far out, like Ian said, and maybe you know, exciting and, and, and good, but people have dark thoughts too. I've got some, uh, you know, resentment towards people. And I have, I have revenge fantasies that thankfully are locked in my head and don't, don't manifest themselves in, in this universe anyway. And I don't, uh, it's it's I don't know it's a little morbid to think that um, you wouldn't want to create those uh, realities right no I wouldn't yeah but that the but the very thought of having those uh, the very action of having those thoughts creates another dimension according to this sort of dimensional uh, theory thing I it, I'm sorry it's just too complicated for me um, I'm when when I <laughs> the universe never prom- promised to be simpl- uh, simplistic well yeah for your but benefit. when, when this when I, this idea was uh, brought up I I you know my reaction is this is stupid in another dimension I said it's not stupid am I still controlling me over there are you you or do you I make know, sense man. in that in that dimension? <laughs> I uh, can't um, tell you. I see. I have, you know, I mean, like I'm only in this one and you're only in this one, but we were both in the last one too, Ian. Yeah, yeah, I mean, maybe are we going to be us. in the next one? <laughs> which business Which business partner am I going to deal with tomorrow? Am I going to have, is Johnny Ray going to be the Liberty janitor next week when he comes on here? Or is he going to be somebody completely different? I, I don't know. I mean, it just doesn't, we all operate as though... We are in an objective universe, and then we talk about the subjective universe. Shut up. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I think it's interesting to explore these ideas. 855 453 We're not exploring them. I would not them. say <laughs> shut up to anybody. Uh, so, anyway, going I'm, on here. I'm talking, I'm talking generally, it, even to my own mind. I just, I, You're telling yourself to shut up. Okay. Well, take your own advice. Let's go to Ty listening in Tennessee. You're on Free Talk Live. Hit him in the head with a hammer. Hey, hold on for a second. I've got to turn you guys off. No problem. We've got nothing but time here. We'll just uh, get the hold music go, uh, going. Yeah, I, I've made a different decision, and we're off in a whole new dimension now, Ty. <laughs> okay. Hey, sorry. I was listening uh, to the uh, to you guys online. Yep. And no then problem. Skype come on, and it was it was overwhelming. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this idea of truth, objectivity, subjectivity. Please. Uh, to start out, I wanted to say. There is a really good, what I think is the best definition of reality I've ever heard was by a science fiction writer, uh, Philip K. Dick. And he said, reality is that which, when you stop believing it, doesn't go away. Yeah. So there is an objective world. There, uh, the, in a, an objective world means it's something other than you. The subjective world is internal. It's, it's yourself. And there are different levels of truth. When you say the word truth, in the scientific sense, truth is basically synonymous with fact, okay? But when you're talking in the human level, truth is, um, is fact loaded with meaning. And meaning is always subjective. It, different sure. events that happen have different meanings to different people. Right. So objectivity and subjectivity go hand in hand. Stand by, Ty. We can bring it back here for more on this conversation. Your calls are welcome here on the meaning of truth and life and existence. Uh, fun stuff here. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. That is the Pro XPN toll-free line. You can also get on Skype as Ty is. Skype username lrn.fm to send a contact request before you call. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. 
We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial, 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. Gentlemen, in search of a million dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com I'm a very bad man, and I'm outside your house. I see you've got an alarm. Outstanding. Because houses with alarms always have the coolest stuff. Unless you've got a door devil reinforcing your door frame. I'll kick your fancy door just like any other door. And I'll be gone before the police even get the call. Don't worry, I'll try not to make a mess. <laughs> door devils are available at participating Ace Hardware stores and locksmiths. Or visit doordevil.com. Tensions in Washington, D.C. reached a new high yesterday as several dozen members of Congress took a class of visiting school children hostage, barricaded themselves inside the Capitol Rotunda, and demanded $12 trillion in cash. The children were rounded up at gunpoint, whereupon the House Speaker informed negotiators that one child would die every hour unless their demands were met. Here now, a brief video one of the students was able to send out from inside the Capitol. Historians across the country politely reminded Americans this week to quickly check and see what has happened in the past before making any big decisions. Just take any book with history in it and then quickly skim through it to see what decisions in the past turned out to be bad. And then once you've pinpointed them, simply don't make those same decisions again. Because if a bad thing happened again, you see, that would be very bad indeed, wouldn't it? This is the Onion News Network. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, bring up whatever you want right here, toll free, 855 450 free. That is the Pro XPN toll free line. You may Skype into the show. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Just send a contact request. It will be approved, and after it is approved, you can easily call us on Skype, and you will sound great, as our last couple of calls have done. We're going to go back to your Skype calls. But actually, there was a big announcement that we made last night, and I want to summarize it here. We did an after show 
uh, was like an eight minute after show on on the Free Talk Live podcast. If you want to go and download that, just go to freetalklive.com. You can grab that there. But the announcement is we're bringing back the uh, the Bitcoin program, the Bitcoin matching. Re- what do you want to call it? Like a Bitcoin refund or something like that. Uh, what had what we did at the end of the last year when we did our first push for the new AMP fundraiser with the matching dollars. We've been talking about quite a bit that we have these listeners, like five or six listeners, that have stepped up to provide up to nine hundred and fifty dollars a month in matching funds. For Free Talk Live amplifiers, meaning that if you were to amp for five bucks tonight at amp.freetalklive.com, then one of these matching individuals will be matching that money. So we would get ten out of your five dollars. And so we did this bonus to this deal where if you go to amp.freetalklive.com, you become a Free Talk Live amplifier for, so let's say, five bucks a month. We will then send you five dollars worth of Bitcoin. And a lot of people use this as their excuse to finally get some Bitcoin because they just hadn't taken the time, the effort to go through the process of getting, uh, say, a blockchain.info wallet and then going to cashinacoins.com and getting Bitcoins. So we made it easier. Uh, so you go to become an amplifier, which helps Free Talk Live because we get, uh, you know, again, your five bucks a month. We get the matching five bucks a month from the, the matchers. And then you, for the first month, get your five bucks back in the form of five dollars worth of Bitcoin. Does that make sense? Yes. So if you'd like to get some Bitcoin and a lot of people are doing this for the first time through Free Talk Live, which I'm I'm really happy to be a part of, of encouraging people to get a Bitcoin wallet, get it set up, and get some Bitcoin. Me too. Um, and you can help us too. And of course, the intention is that you'll stay on longer than a month, so you don't just use us as an opportunity to get a 0% Bitcoin transaction. Because if you want to pay 0% on a Bitcoin transaction and get some Bitcoin, just go to cashintocoins.com. Less than $40 worth of Bitcoins, there's no, there's no fee. So you don't need to use Free Talk Live for that, that purpose. And then there won't be a credit card fee anyway. So uh, so go to amp.freetalklive.com. You get perks as an amplifier. You get access to the amp-only call-in lines, the amp-only, uh, the amp-only forum, the amp-only Facebook group. There's some perks involved. And you help us get Free Talk Live on more radio stations, bringing more internet listeners on board. We're doing Google AdWords advertising, which has been very successful thus far. We're up 28% in our podcast downloads in just the last two months. So it's making a difference, and you can help us get that matching funds by becoming an amplifier, and you get Bitcoin. So how do you get the Bitcoin? Become an amplifier, and then email me, ian at freetalklive.com. Email me with your Bitcoin wallet address, and I'll get you hooked up. And I do this on Saturdays, so if you uh, you know do it before Saturday, you'll probably get your Bitcoins on Saturday. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. We go back to Skype, where Ty is on the line. Now, Ty, you were saying you're talking about the objective world versus the subjective world and how, and if I misrepresent what you're saying, please correct me, but how uh, the subjective world is you and your thoughts about what's going on outside of you and that what's going on outside of you is the objective world. Is that what you had said? Yes, yes, that's correct. You're a little bit off mic there, Ty. I can just barely hear you. Can you hear me now? Uh, no. I'm going to have to really crank you up. You are definitely way lower than you previously were, and I don't know why. Go ahead. Yeah, hold on. Hold on just a second. Uh, okay, that's have... better. Okay. What what I was saying is that uh, there is an objective world. There is a subjective world. The subjective world is within us. It is of us. The objective world is what is other. That's That's exactly what it means. It's the same thing as like in grammar. You have a subject, an object, and a verb. The subject is the actor, the verb is the action, and the object is that which is acted upon. So it's the self, the action, and the object that's being acted upon. Now, when we talk about, I was talking earlier about there is such a thing as scientific truth, which is basically synonymous with fact. Now, there's another level of truth, and it's it's what I call a shared subjective truth. Like, if I want to communicate something that's within my subjective experience to you, it has to touch something that you've experienced. For instance, let's say I have a toothache. That's a subjective experience. It's real. I have real pain. But if you haven't had a similar experience, we can't agree on what that is. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So so it could be real to me and not real to you. However... If it's something that you've experienced yourself, the other person has experienced, then you can communicate the idea of a toothache. You both agree on the idea of a toothache. So any subjective truth, anything that's not objectively true, that's not fact, 
is true only by agreement between at least two minds. Does that make sense? It makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, certainly the, you've defined objective and subjective, but isn't it possible uh, if, you know, for instance, we're all creating our own reality, that that which uh, you're defining as objective is actually subjective because it's all being created by you in the first place? Well, you know, I, I'm asking Ty that question. Well, yeah, the, 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 that goes back to a question of, you know, whether you believe some of the occult philosophies. Uh, and, and I think that there is some level of truth to some of the occult philosophies. Um, I think the previous caller was talking about this idea that everything is mental. That is a very old occult idea of something they call the all, that everything that exists first existed as a thought, mm -hmm. and we are, we are the living expressions of the mind of the all, or God, if you will. So I don't think that, I think that a lot of people, especially in the New Age community, kind of stretch the idea of quantum physics to explain any of their pet ideas. Uh, and I think that they do that sometimes at the risk of losing touch with objective reality. You know, going back to what Philip K. Dick said, reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Right. You jump in front of a truck, you're getting run over. Right. Even if uh, subjectively in your mind you believe that you have somehow uh, garnered the powers of Superman, in fact, if you jump in, tr in front of the truck, you will, you will reach... The objective reality will end your life very quickly, and you will be an objective spray of red, um, you know, heading forward very, very quickly. It's not, it no longer, this, this, this stuff that you've come up with in your head will cease to be reality for you, and in fact, death will then be a reality. Exactly. Uh what Going is death but another moving of your consciousness into another What is form? death but that guy in the road who thought he was Superman, mm. who believed who believed strongly in his mind that he was <laughs> Superman? You know what I believe? Yeah. I believe he's dead and, sure. and was dumb. There's a lot of, well, there, there's there a lot of evidence. A, there are certain rules that must be followed in this particular uh, game. There is a scientific theory that's long held. It's almost an axiom that there's conservation of energy, but there's no proof that there's conservation of consciousness. If That's you, true. It's all theory. If and when you die, you, you probably just go away. Now, you may transform into some other thing. I don't know. But this is probably the only shot you have in life. So don't step in front of trucks to try to prove that you can create alternate realities. Good advice, Ty. <laughs> Thank you for the call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you. Listeners, if you get one thing out of tonight's show, that's it. There you go. The takeaway. <laughs> uh, so, uh, thoughts, guys, on subjective versus objective reality? I don't know, man. I mean, it sounds... it's. It, <laughs> I did this whole New Age uh, religion thing mm -hmm. a decade ago, and um, all this stuff is uh, is so old hat to me that it just... I, 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 People who are exploring it now, it's wonderful for them and everything, but let's not get carried away, people. When I was younger, I used to imagine, I used to fantasize that I was the only conscious thing and everybody else was robots that were put there to test me or observe me or something. And I haven't thought about that scenario in years, and that's the closest I've ever come to this uh, this debate that I hear all the time on Free Talk Live about subjective versus objective. So did you decide against the robot theory? Yes, I did. Okay. I decided that, that I wasn't um, a, a player. <laughs> it wasn't in, all about you? Yeah. In, yeah. In, in a what a, what a supremely vain philosophy that you are the only living creature <laughs> in the universe. I but, do. I I still act that way. And oh, it's, I, me too. Uh, no, no, no doubt about it. But I mean, you look at you hmm. look at the sky and you see the stars coming from you know millions of of years ago. Their yeah. their light reaching you and you you pompous a-hole <laughs> believe that somehow you are the only conscious thing in this giant and vast universe. Well, technically, Please since you are... Please expound uh, with your wisdom. You, you <laughs> Technically, since everything is connected, you are everything, and so therefore it is true that you are the only consciousness because you're only an individuation of the larger consciousness, which is all that is, or the divine, Completely or the source. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Just like it's completely unprovable that you're actually here. More coming up. This is Free Talk Live. Hour 3 is next. 
What if humans found a habitable planet, set up housekeeping, and then got left alone by Earth and its big government? Well, that happened in Freehold, Michael Z. Williamson's seminal work. Now available for the first time in a signed, limited hardback edition. Other books in the series are also available in paperback. I cannot recommend a modern fiction work more highly than Freehold. Earth might have left Freehold alone, but it doesn't stay that way. It's war. Get your copy right now at all major booksellers and shop.freetalklive.com. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. This is Justin Armand with your Liberty Beat for May 13th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,296, silver at $19.50, and Bitcoin is trading at $436. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Accountable Authority, now offering a public database of police abuse and misconduct. Take action now and join free to gain community support and protection online at accountableauthority.com. And from Roberts and Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. They don't feed the banks by taking credit cards, but you can bet they take Bitcoin. Online at rrbi.co or by phone at 800-874-9760. And now the news. Iran has managed to successfully reverse engineer a U.S. military drone that crashed in the country in 2011. After the crash, U.S. officials asked that the drone be returned, but Iran refused and instead released pictures of Iranian officials studying the UAV. Iran said that they intend to launch their own productions of UAVs. U.S. officials insist that Iran cannot extract data from the drone because the military takes precaution by encrypting the data so that it cannot be accessed. Police officer Stephen Stem has been fired after fatally shooting a 93-year-old woman in the small town of Hearn, Texas. The officer has been officially relieved of his position after city council voted unanimously to fire him. During a protest march last Thursday, Black Panther leader Quanell X threatened to protest outside the victim's home if Officer Stem was not fired. Stem has worked as a police officer since 2008. In 2012, Stem fatally shot a 28-year-old who was shooting a gun from inside a car in a parking lot. A grand jury did not indict Stem in the shooting. The community in Hearn, Texas is outraged, and they're demanding answers. The government has dropped the ball again in the case against five Blackwater contractors responsible for the deadly shootings in Nizor Square in Iraq. In 2007, the Blackwater shooting left 17 unarmed civilians dead, among the victims included several children. Charges against one contractor were dropped due to lack of evidence. In April, the government missed a deadline allowing the statute of limitations to expire against the second contractor for manslaughter. 
A State Department secretary agent reported that his colleagues attempted to clean up the scene of the shooting, gathering up shell casings. However, the case against the three remaining contractors will go to trial. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks. Check out their new website at centraltexasgunworks.com, where you can conveniently purchase firearms from a variety of distributors and pick them up in store. Support for this program comes from Cabo Bob's, now with two locations in Austin at 500 East Ben White Boulevard and 2828 Rio Grande Boulevard. You're listening to The Liberty Beat for May 13th, 2014. Be sure to check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. The Pentagon has announced a plan to send troops to the Nigerian rescue effort to help find over 200 missing teenage girls. The girls have reportedly been kidnapped by the Al-Qaeda-linked group Boko Haram. Colonel Stephen Warren stated that fewer than 10 troops will be arriving in the coming days. The troops will join around 70 military personnel already stationed in Nigeria. On Thursday, the head of the FAA's Unmanned Aircraft Systems office discussed a recent near collision between a commercial aircraft and a private drone. Speaking at the Small Unmanned Systems Business Expo, Jim Williams discussed a near mid-air collision near the airport in Tallahassee, Florida on March 22nd. In early April, the United Nations met in Berlin to discuss options for dealing with climate change. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change included in their discussions the controversial science of geoengineering, the deliberate manipulation of weather patterns. Critics, including environmental activists and scientists, fear the technology will have unforeseen consequences. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change is drafting a document that will be used as a guide for governments negotiating a global climate deal in 2015. Support for The Liberty Beat comes from GrowYourOwnGroceries.org, now offering an eight-week course where you can learn to treat the most common family ailments with simple medicines you can grow or easily find. Learn more at GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. This is Justin Armand reporting with The Liberty Beat. Remember, freeing your mind is freeing our world. While digital communications coordinator Brian Tyler is considered by many of his co-workers to be the cutest guy around the offices of Western Psychological Publishing Services, employees conceded today the 27-year-old is not even particularly attractive. Brian gets a lot of attention from girls around here, but if I saw him in a bar, I don't know if I would even notice him. Put him next to Glenn or Mike, and then, sure, he actually looks pretty good. Co-workers explained to reporters that by everyday standards, Tyler would at best be considered moderately good-looking, but explained that given the abundance of unattractive men at the publishing firm, female employees often go out of their way to make small talk with the 27-year-old at his desk or eat lunch with him in the office kitchen. I saw him walking to work the other day, and half the guys on the street were easily better looking than him. But here, he's the hottest guy around. It's almost kind of sad. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd still f*** him. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and we're launching into the third hour of the program here to take your calls about whatever's on your mind. And still to come here, the update on legalization of cannabis. What effect is it happening or is it having on the drug cartels, Mexican drug cartels? Vice.com has done the research. We will bring that to you. But first, we go to the phones and your calls and thoughts. We've got James in Arizona on the line to start out the hour. Go ahead, James. Hello, James in Arizona. James going once. James going twice. Maybe there's something wrong with the board op. Sometimes sometimes they fall asleep at the wheel. We'll put James back on hold and uh, if his line clears up. We'll bring him back here in a moment. The story from Vice News at Vice.com. And you may recall after the uh, ballot initiatives in Colorado and Washington that legalized cannabis. I recall those. There was some uproar by the drug warrior community who are saying that this is going to empower the cartels. Well, that this, this is, is the same thing that's said when uh, that, that the gangsters will be empowered when they, if you legalize uh, gambling or casinos. And were they saying that uh, in the past? Oh, I'm sorry. What about with alcohol as well? Would that have empowered the gangsters? I then? don't know the answer to that, but likely yeah. it was uh, someone was saying it somewhere because certainly gangsters were involved in alcohol at the time. So the belief of those who support the war on drugs was that legalization 
would enhance the cartels, that it would make them more powerful, that now they'll be legitimate, these cartels. Turns out they're having a more, a more difficult time now. Of course. A gang has a very expensive infrastructure. Um, they, they can't compete against businesses, businesses that are allowed in a, in a marketplace. But, you know, currently in most places in the United States, if you try to sell marijuana out of your store, somebody's going to come in and shut you down. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the, the police are going to come in and shut you down, whereas they don't successfully ever, you know, they don't successfully shut down the gangsters. Those people are very successful in operating overall. Marijuana has accounted for nearly half of all total drug arrests for the past 20 years in the United States, according to the FBI's crime statistics. And according to the Department of Justice, a large portion of the U.S. illegal drug market is controlled by Mexican cartels. The DOJ's National in uh, Drug Intelligence Center, which has since been shut down, found in 20, uh, 2011 that the top cartels control the majority of the drug trade in marijuana, heroin, and methamphetamine in over 1,000 U.S. cities. I was kind of surprised that this didn't happen a couple of decades ago with uh, California's medical marijuana and the way that, you know, they, they call uh, Humboldt County the, the green triangle up mm. there in Northern California where you can, where they grow all kinds of marijuana legally. You're saying you're surprised that the cartels didn't have a more difficult time after that. California? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe they did have uh, a, a differential, but or maybe it's even worse now because there's 20 states with medical or more than 20 with medical and now two most fully of the legal. State, most of the states with medical have really crappy provisions for providing, though. I mean, you can only grow so many plants and that kind of thing. Well, yeah, and still, even with the medical, there's still an open market or there's still a, a black market available for everybody that doesn't have a medical card. So somebody has to supply that California, cannabis. just about anybody can get it, though. That's what I've heard. Now, those cartels and their farmers complain that marijuana legalization is hurting their business. And some reports could suggest the DEA is more interested in helping protect the Mexican cartel's hold on the pot trade than in letting it dissipate. Mm. Seven Mexican cartels have long battled for dominance of the U.S. illegal drug market. Sinaloa, Los Zetas, Gulf, Juarez, Knights Templar, La Familia, and Tijuana. While some smaller cartels operate only along border regions in the southwest and southeast, giant cartels like Sinaloa have a presence on the streets of every single region. The Washington Post reported Tuesday that pot farmers in the Sinaloa region have stopped planting due to a massive drop in wholesale prices. It's going from $100 per kilo down to only $25. Hmm. Then how come we aren't seeing a drop in prices in place like places like Colorado and Washington? Because their prices are not from from what we've seen, um, at least initially. I I, I don't. Well, we know. only I'm got not... reports initially on the prices, and the the claim was there. The reason why the prices were so high was because the demand was so pent up that people were literally lining up to go and buy cannabis, and the stores were selling out. So it was a supply and demand issue. Okay. Um, you know, and what are the prices I'm right now? I'm still interested. Yeah, what are the prices right now? I don't know. Have they come down, or is it still a, you know, an issue where they can't supply enough to the people coming in there? I can't imagine. I cannot imagine that a uh, pack of uh, mids, twenty, you know, twenty cigarettes of, uh, you know, marijuana cigarettes rolled up like regular cigarettes without the filter, would be. Five dollars a pack. I mean, be serious. Tobacco is a much more expensive product to get to market. Now, there's they certainly the tobacco. What's that? Why is tobacco drying somewhat? time? You have to dry marijuana. Yeah, but tobacco uh, very. You know, you have to have these structures. It's there's it's a uh, you know the process for doing it. It's important as far as flavor goes and that kind of thing. Tobacco is not a it's not a weed that just springs up. You okay. have to keep the you have to keep the other weeds out of it. Marijuana outcompetes other plants for sunlight. It grows more quickly. I believe that marijuana should be a less costly plant to produce and put into. Uh, now, now, by the way, you, the, the rebuttal to this is you can you smoke tobacco leaves, you smoke marijuana buds, but Right, you don't want to get the leaves in the with the marijuana buds, otherwise that's just weight that is not worth I wouldn't, selling or smoking. I would still think that um, and when, with all the taxes that are in on tobacco, I think your average pack of cigarettes probably doesn't actually cost much more than a than two dollars a pack. But yeah. that the rest of it is uh, taxes and regulations uh, put on the tobacco companies, and those currently don't exist 
in the marijuana trade that a pack of cigarettes, I'd be surprised if it was $5. I mean, really, as, as a pack of mids as far as value goes. Well, um, one of the other issues with the tax, well, as you mentioned, taxes in the legal states, taxes are pretty high. When we looked at the receipt of somebody who'd purchased a couple of eighths worth of really good pot in Colorado, I think it was, the taxes were a good, I think, third of the price that the person was paying. So that's something that's keeping prices high are the government taxes being put on it. And also the fact that there's a pent up demand. There are a lot of there's a lot of pot tourism going on right yep, now, yep. where people are coming into uh, Colorado and Washington just to go and get high, just like with Amsterdam. So that puts a, a level of demand out there that otherwise wouldn't be. If if all 50 states went legal, then I think you'd see a, a larger, more uh, produced drop. Uh, a more visible drop in price because there'd be a greater spread of it, the demand. It seems like it can't take that long in Colorado for this to to go. I mean, it seems like you're still talking about the marijuana that's being purchased today in Colorado likely was marijuana that was planted before marijuana was legal. Is that does that sound about right to you? I don't. Know. I don't know how long it's been. Mm. Uh, what is it like? Two or three month period? I forget. I'm not a gl- I'm not a grower. I've known some people who've oh, grown, grown in the past, but okay. Um, no. So what it is took it? Longer two than months? That. Three months? Took, how long? It took longer than that. I couldn't tell. I can't remember. Okay. But it seemed like it was four months or something like that. All so right. the marijuana that's being smoked today, bought today, and smoked today in in Colorado likely is already was uh, planted before it was legal. So I, I guess you're probably. You know, looking at all the arid land, the people are going to start putting marijuana on this and selling. It's, arable. Uh, arable? Oh, <laughs> arid, yeah. Arid is uh, desert no good. land, right? <laughs> um, I, I just think that people are going to put marijuana out there to smoke. And then you've got to kind of ask yourself, oh, do I want mids or do I want the high grade and, you know, whatever. That's what, Are uh, they selling mids? I don't know about that. Somebody I mean, wants mids, man. Yeah, but the reason why mids are in demand is because they're cheaper than the high grade. But yes. if somebody could sell high grade at the price of mids, then it would undercut everybody. That's not happening yet. No, but, they can't. Um, uh, I don't even know if you can go into these stores and buy mid grade. I wonder about that. I've not experienced it. If you have, if you're in Colorado or have visited recently, you're welcome to tell us uh, what your experience has been. The toll free number is 855 450 free. But regardless, price is down, according to. This farmer that they talked to, who some of the farmers are not, they're not planting. They're saying, screw this. It's not worth the effort. We're only making 25 bucks per kilo instead of 100. And they, he says, quote, it's not worth it anymore. I wish the Americans would stop with this legalization. <laughs> Vice News talked to retired. This is the word of a drug producer. This is yes. what we've been saying for a decade on Free Talk Live. And people, they call in and argue with us. Isn't it obvious? We'll come back with more. Your thoughts are welcome, especially if you've got an experience going into the the pot shops of Colorado or Washington. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Take control here on Free Talk Live. Spring is finally here. Which activity would you rather do? Spring cleaning or spring travel america's best value in is making your spring even better with a great deal save 15 percent when you book a room online and stay now through may 21st plus you'll enjoy free internet continental breakfast and instant rewards at most of our 1000 hotels in north america visit america's best value in.com and clean up on our spring travel deal breathe it in kid Clean, fresh air thanks to these new air handler filters. They're more energy efficient, hold more dust, and are stronger than ever. And Granger's got over 3,000 different styles and sizes to choose from. Just ordered a new batch from Granger.com today. I love oxygen, kid. And this facility's got some great AO2. I'm breathing easier just thinking about these air handler filters. Get some today. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com slash air handler or stop by. Granger. For the ones who get it done. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a 
powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Bring up what you want. Here toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And join us on Skype, our Skype username, lrn.fm. Uh, you know what? You can also uh, send us a contact request on Skype. In fact, you have to send us the contact request in order to call with Skype, but it's real simple. You just send that. We'll approve you, and then it'll be easy for you to connect on Skype as we've got an upcoming caller who will be doing that with us here in moments. And, of course, you can join us online over at freetalklive.com. At coffee.freetalklive.com, you can get a free pound of delicious coffee. This is the best of the best coffee. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, top 1% grade Arabica beans. Um, and this or, the organic rating when it comes to coffee is very important because, well, coffee is grown in third-world countries where you don't know what kind of pesticides they're using. You don't know what their rules are on leaded gas and things like that. So I find this to be important. Uh, Buzzbox is competitively priced with other high-end coffees. But one thing that they do differently than other high-end coffee makers is that they give an opportunity to folks like us to help people around the world. Every 10 people that order their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. So when you go there, you can get a free pound of coffee. And after that, if you stay on the subscription, you can cancel it at any time. But if you do stay on the subscription, every 10 people that do that, we're going to be able to give a micro loan to help uh, some family somewhere around the world get a hand up to live a better life. And I think that this is the kind of uh, business models that are really going to change the world. So go get a free pound of coffee at coffee.freetalklive.com. All right. We'll continue here with more on what's happening with cartels. They're having a tougher time moving product in the marijuana trade, at least now, which was a significant portion of their business because of legalization happening in just two states It's already hitting home with the cartels as far as the price and uh, what their farmers are getting paid now for a kilo of cannabis. We'll get back into the story here. First, to the phones and your thoughts. Jim's online in Virginia. You're on Free Talk Live, Jim. 
hey, I, uh, I'm sort of on both sides of the marijuana thing, so I, I can't go there. But uh, I'm What does it mean to be on both sides of the marijuana thing? Does that mean you're both a cop and a drug dealer? <laughs> hey, that's good. That's good. No, I mean, I'm, I'm generally have a libertarian view on most things like you guys. I don't really understand why the government can tell me that I can't put something in my body. Uh, I don't really see where there's a constitutional power for that. Uh, mm-hmm. When they wanted to ban alcohol, they realized back when we had a constitution, you know, they they realized when they wanted to ban alcohol that they had to amend the constitution because the Supreme Court struck down prohibition. Uh, gotcha. But I also, I've just seen people that on, you know, I mean, I grew up in South Florida and everybody was a burnout. And I, I've seen people that are on heroin and I've seen that had people kill themselves because they were in, on drugs. Uh you know, so I don't know that I want my kid to be able to go, my 20-year-old kid to be able to go buy crack at the 7-Eleven. So, yeah, yeah, I'm not a drug dealer and a cop. But Your kid can go get bleach and inject that in his arm if that's what he wants to do. You um, can also go and get crack right now. I mean, you just have to go down instead of going to a, a corner store, I'm you have with to go you. to a corner dealer. I'm not thrilled about the idea of my son, you know, living in a world full of drugs either. But um, I'm sorry, the, the world's already here and the drugs are plenty available. They're here. There's no doubt about it. So I'd rather have a world in which, um, you know, if I if I had a child, that that child would not be subject to being arrested and or killed by the police because they want to put him in a cage for doing something that's irresponsible or dangerous. But you wanted to talk about something, something else. else. Go ahead. I can see both your guys. I can't argue with you on that. But uh, yeah, the, 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 the Center for Immigration Studies just released a document from the from ICE saying that that the uh, our Homeland Security folks have just released 36,000 convicted criminal aliens into the U.S., 193 convicted murderers, 423 convicted sexual assault people. I mean, well, what are the other 35,000? Uh, let me see. Um, 16,000 drunk or drug driving uh 9,000 dangerous drug convictions, whatever it is, sort of uh, it goes back to our earlier part. 303 kidnapping convict- convictions. I mean, this is one of the few things that the federal government's supposed to do that it's doing, is, is you well, know, control the borders. Does and it say that anywhere in the Constitution? Custody? I mean, or is that just what we've come to believe, that governments control borders? Well, if you don't control your border, I mean, you don't have a country. I mean, well, that's, it's implied. Yes, but it's not in the Constitution, though, right? I mean, like, this is one of the things that I had to struggle with. Um, yes. Yeah, there's customs. Yes, customs and things like that are in the Constitution. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. You kind of flabbergasted me with that question, but yes. Right. There's uh, you know, things in coming there. in uh, the border. But as far as immigration um, in this country, the first immigration laws weren't passed until the 1880s. And they were what they call the yellow man laws that prevented Chinese uh, from coming into the country because their labor was too cheap and the opium and stuff. And um, so, you know, you have a full century of essentially no regulation on immigration into the United States and honestly no checking of papers to see if someone was a citizen when they voted and a variety of things like that. So um, I don't know that I think that this is a what a legitimately constitutional power. I'm not saying that I don't think that it would be common and expected for a nation to attempt to control its borders. I just don't think it can, and 20 million I- illegal immigrants in this country prove it. I don't think that releasing uh, murderers, rapists is a good idea. Uh, but if somebody hasn't hurt another person, uh, then I think they should absolutely not be in a cage. Uh, well, I, I've got to disagree with you there. I mean, if, if, if everybody in the world wants to be here. Uh, you know, if, if you don't have any control over the – I mean, you can make arguments over what immigration policy should be, but only you guys, and that's why I love your show – would say, well, why should there be an immigration? Everybody in the world should be able to just wander into the well, U.S. first of all, not everyone in the world on. wants to come to the United States. That's not a true. A lot of people do, though. And a lot I, of people I'm, do. I'm not going to dismiss that argument. I'm going to go ahead and present something to the um, – I, I think a lot of people would co- want to come to the United States. First off, there's a lot of room. And, hey, places like Detroit – Memphis, Cleveland, they could use some hardworking folks to go in there and revitalize their economies. Mm, sure. But let's just leave all that aside. The op- at openborders.org, they estimate that the uh, there would be a one-time doubling of the world GDP 
doubling of the world GDP if borders went away. Now, I'm not saying that we can make that happen, but it's interesting to know what would to think what would the what would the U.S. economy be like if we had an influx of hardworking people that um, you know that were willing to work hard for were willing to sell labor more cheaply than currently we get our labor for. Most of the cheap labor we get here in the United States is bad labor. What if we were able to get good labor for the same price that we purchase bad labor for? Um, yeah, but Mark, aren't people just going to come here to feed off the welfare system? Well, I think that that's a great question. The welfare system should be ended immediately for people that, uh, you know, the, if, if you're going to let people in the border, obviously you don't give them a bunch of free stuff. If you put out... If you put out uh, cat food every day at your front door and then you rage about how cats come and eat it, you're an idiot. Um, but, uh, you know, that doesn't really have – that's a welfare problem, not an immigration problem. I wanted to add to what you said, Mark, simply that, like you said, there's loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of room here. Out in the West, the federal government owns all the land. That's that's a reason why why – land is is premium and dear to us because the feds have stolen it from us jim if you want to hang on we can bring it back here in a moment uh and certainly the feds should allow that land to be homesteaded Get yeah some, let people come in here let them homestead that land let new cities arise more free talk live coming up in moments if you owe the irs back taxes listen carefully sweeping changes to irs policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all and now thanks to dan pillow you can get the tax help you need to end your tax nightmare hi i'm dan pillow i've helped thousands of people reduce or eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay and after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the irs i can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case with the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. Or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Hi, I'm Montel Williams. Most of you know me as a talk show host, but I'm also an author, actor, single father of four, a fitness writer, avid snowboarder, and I'm also a medical marijuana patient. Like many of the million people who are living with multiple sclerosis, I'm in pain every single day. And sometimes my nerves are so raw that if you brushed up against me in an elevator, I'd scream. I can't sleep at night from the pain, and sometimes the spasms in my legs are so intense, they will wake me up throughout the night. I've tried the strongest prescription medications available, and I'm going to tell you, they do not work. In fact, they leave me in a stupor, and most of the time, it's impossible to even live your life. Now, I've tried medical marijuana, and I'm going to tell you something, it works. If you'd like more information about medical marijuana, you can contact the Marijuana Policy Project at mpp.org or call 1-877-JOIN-MPP. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Lil Drums. Every bit as fun as a full-size Nestle drumstick cone and definitely cuter. Visit us at drumstick.com. Vacations are all about family time, but you don't have to leave home to have fun. Take one weekend a month and devote it to family activities. Pull out the board games and puzzles, serve up some treats, or have a picnic. Even without leaving home, you'll feel like you've really had some time away. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's 
That's a problem, officer! Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Bring up what you want right here, toll free at 855-450 free. We're talking immigration, but we were talking about marijuana, the situation with the cartels. They're having a tougher time already. The price of wholesale cannabis has gone down significantly, so we can continue talking about that. You can bring up whatever's on your mind here as well, and you can also connect to us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Free Talk Live brought to you by the Free State Project's Porcupine Freedom Festival. Cannabis is not yet legal in New Hampshire, but at the Porcupine Freedom Festival, You'll think it, is. it might as well be. <laughs> there aren't too many places in, in New Hampshire where you'd be comfortable uh, chiefing a bong right out in the open, but uh, you can do that at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. So People far, have done that at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. Yes, I have done that. Uh, so far... <laughs> I bet you have. In the 10 years, this is the 11th year, in the 10 years that it's gone on, I don't believe there has ever been a single arrest at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. I don't think there has either. It is a real exciting event, and it's not just about, you know, bong rips. It's about community. It's about bringing people together who love freedom. There's also all kinds of family events going it's on It's amazing well. how these uh, sort of separate events can exist. Right. There's uh, a for... rave on one end of the uh, the, the, the campus. And, and then... the kids are playing, uh, you know, beanbag toss on the other end. Exactly. And Bible study. It's, it's true. All of that stuff happens at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. Over 1,500 attendees last year. It's happening June 22nd through the 29th. That means we're about a month plus, one, a month and a couple weeks uh, away at this point. And it's not too late for you to get your tickets. You can go to porkfest.com, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T.com. Grab your tickets there. They're available through the end of May. And the price point, I believe, is $60 that gets you for the entire week. If you can only make it for the weekend, please come up, come up for the weekend. It'll be worth it. There's all kinds of stuff going on, lots of different activities. This year's theme is do-it-yourself, meaning that there will be people teaching you how to do things, how to make things, how to improve your life in various different ways. And you can learn more about some of those events at Porkfest.com. You can also get a list of all the radio shows that are going to be live there. Free Talk Live will be broadcasting live. Ernie Hancock's Declare Your Independence, The Angel Clark Show, Derek J's Peace News Now, Cody O'Connor, and Off the Air Live, and more. There's actually going to be some podcasts recorded there, some video shows recorded. So it's uh, it's kind of like a Liberty Media extravaganza alongside an open-air agora market where people are selling everything from ice cream to you know, homemade ice cream to all kinds of neat products t-shirts so much to, to do so silver. much to see so many cool people silver as well lots of people accepting bitcoin for the things that they're selling it's a it's an amazing event and you really should come up to it go to porkfest.com we'll see you there because we're broadcasting live every single night p-o-r-c-f-e-s-t.com we go back to jim in Virginia, he's concerned about immigration, concerned about the borders, and here well, on- concerned about the Department of Homeland Security releasing a bunch of people, I guess, into the United States that he had said. Uh, and uh, so we we're talking about the larger issue of uh, you know borders. Like, I don't want to see murderers getting released out into uh, the population. That sounds like a bad idea. But if if all somebody was arrested for was because they came here and tried to make a better life for themselves, then yeah, I don't think that person should have been arrested in the first place. And Mark, I, th I felt like there was one other point that you wanted to make. Uh, yeah, well, um, you know, one of the things that I w w the, the concern is is that if you open the borders of the United States just wide open, and this isn't going to happen. This is just theory. Uh, but if it if this happens, that uh, everybody in the world will fill you know fill the void, and uh, then what are we going to do? Well, very quickly, other countries like let's imagine Syria for a second. 
Who is Assad going to kill if the Syrians who don't like his regime can just come to the United States? Pretty quickly, you're going to see a great deal of pressures come down on um, other countries, especially countries that are even closer, that are more free. So when you see that, you'll see other places are like, well, we, we have to we have to do things. Got to keep- retain the tax base. Well, you've got to retain the tax base. How do we do that? We give them more human freedom. That's what people want. Jim, you're back with us. Uh, I've got to disagree. you got despots everywhere, and they'll be happy to dump their people out and, and then be able to uh, rule over the others despotically. Uh, but, I mean, I was in Florida for the Mariel boat lift yep. when, uh, when the first Obama administration said, hey, everybody come on in. We welcome you with open arms. And I thought the Mariels you know, came during uh, – I thought that was after – before even – yeah, it was because Clinton wasn't elected was- – I'm, it was Jimmy Carter. I'm making a joke. Carter, about okay. Yeah, I was I was trying to figure out the place. I was, th- I was thinking it was Reagan or, or Bush Senior. I was going to say I never even heard of this. This is before my the time. Mariel vote lift. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is when their uh, the insane asylums and prisons were basically emptied onto uh, crappy boats. And this is what happened at, at the beginning of Scarface at a cube at a Cuba, Cuba. Instead of over here. Ah, uh, okay. What what you just described actually did take place, and it was the diametric opposite of what you said. Uh, it, it, Carter said to to Castro, we welcome you with open arms. Come on. And that's exactly what Castro did was empty all the murderers, the insane asylum people, the the child rapists, and dumped them all in one state. And, you know, the schools were overwhelmed. The prisons were overwhelmed. There was rioting in Miami. It was burning stuff in the streets. It It was a disaster. You know, when we had controlled immigration a generation before and said, hey, y'all fly on over here that want to escape tyranny, you know, and want to get away from Castro, we had people who came and founded businesses and learned English and but what about now? Why isn't we, Miami still on when fire? When we tell people that uh, that they, oh yeah, if you can touch American soil, you can be here, but then the Coast Guard goes around and we pay all kinds of money to pick them up. I mean, many of these people that have taken the time and the energy and um, to try to come across the United States, be it from Cuba or Haiti or wherever it is, um, we don't want people that are that industrious. I mean, the, the problem with the United States is that we're driving away People who get college degrees, masters and doctorates are going back to their countries. We're teaching them and then forcing them out. The same with uh, industrious people that don't have degrees. We need that for our economy, and we continue to drive it out because government bureaucrats, they're they're completely incapable of seeing who's going to be a value and who isn't. Well, I, I don't disagree with that. I challenge your assertion that you, you said earlier, you basically said it was that uh, everyone who comes here wants to work hard and that opening the borders, all these hardworking people will come here. You know, there's, there's a lot of places in the world where people don't work hard. But, but Agreed. Um, I, I, totally, I totally agree, though, that we should have, like, when Hong Kong was going back to the communists, you had the most productive people on earth. We should have been sending shiploads of welfare recipients over there and exchanging them for how I mean Canada beat us. Canada went and got all those highly productive business millionaire you know, they they were handing out citizenship to all these the, you know, we should the Hong Kong people are just really hard working. I agree. Government okay. is not up at it. That they're they're releasing murderers into the streets. Yeah, that's really the problem. The, the thing is, is that look, I would love to keep exclude certain people from coming to this country. I just don't think you can. If I say, look, we're going to do away with welfare um, for anybody who's not a U.S. citizen, but anybody who, from who's not a U.S. citizen wants to come here, work hard. We're going to have that for you. We're capable of that, except if you've got uh, you know um, tuberculosis or you're convicted of a crime or whatever the fact is the border patrol isn't going to be able to stop those people if they want to sneak across either well and i'm also not willing to uh submit to loss of freedoms in order to have this theoretical reduction in the people who are going to come here from you know getting rid of the undesirables because now what we've seen with ice for instance is they're going into businesses they're raiding businesses at gunpoint they're demanding that the business hand over their files their personnel files and they're arresting workers at factories i mean well, so don't forget the the road the 
the roadside uh, stops. Yeah, random checkpoints being set up. To me, that's the police state, and I am not interested in participating in it. Jim, I appreciate your call and thoughts tonight. Let's continue on. I believe we are going to go to Skype, where we have Aaron. He's on the line in Delaware. Aaron, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Mark, Ian, Johnson. Johnny um, Ray's Johnny here, Ray. Actually. Go ahead. Sorry, Johnny Ray. I love your... I love your game of the week, by the way. I always thank you, Aaron Johnson's game of the week. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I have a friend, I guess, who I went to school with, and he got his MS in poli sci, and uh, he works for a three-letter agency. And he t- he told it to me like this. He said it's an open secret that the government doesn't operate the way you or I do. They want stability, and they want people to do what they say. With citizens, they can use the threat of force, but with other countries, they just need another gang that they can use as an extension of themselves to keep that population under control. Stand by, Aaron. We can bring him back here in moments on Free Talk Live. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF+, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, Call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial, 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. You've been lied to. Lied to by Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, and I want to give you free access to my new DVD set, The Millionaire Black Box. Because after losing 35% in my IRA in the crash years ago, I said enough. And since then, I've filmed interviews with dozens of millionaires across the country. I was shocked to discover they don't use mutual funds or worry about stock market crashes. They make double digits in good years and bad. Call now to get this DVD where millionaires reveal five specific wealth strategies, like private lending contracts, how to use your IRAs, or cash in the bank to make potential double digits each year, tax-free retirement income using the biggest benefits left in the tax code, and how to beat inflation with two strategies you'll never hear from Wall Street. Call 1-800-324-3030 to get free access to the Millionaire Black Box videos and learn the secrets the ultra-rich use to grow your money and protect your wealth. Plus, the next 47 callers get a free copy of my best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire. Just cover shipping and handling. Call 800-324-3030. Again, that's 1-800-324-3030. 1-800-324-3030. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. If you want to move to the free state And you're looking for some real estate Well, I know a guy who's really great It's the realtor Mark Warden Do you want a home with 20 acres A lakeside cabin Any takers for renters Buyers and sellers too Mark Warden is the guy for you 
PorcupineRealEstate.com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live allows you to bring up anything you want. Even in these remaining moments, we might be able to sneak you in, although I doubt it at this point because we've got several calls on hold. The number is 855-450 free if you want to give it a shot. But if you don't get in tonight, we're always here tomorrow, seven nights a week, live from 7 to 10 at night Eastern time. You can join us here. And if you're not on, if we're not on your local talk radio station every night of the week, call them and ask them for more Free Talk Live. If you get some, if you get zero Free Talk Live, then call and ask for a little bit. Of Free Talk Live. You never know. One phone call can make a difference with a program director. Hearing something positive instead of attacking uh, something that you don't like. Tell them what you do like. Tell them what you do want to hear. With you in the studio, it's Ian here. Johnny Ray. And Mark. We're going back to Aaron. He is in Delaware. Aaron, uh, go ahead with your thoughts here tonight. We, you really barely had a chance in the last segment. Uh, what I was just saying was that the government generally operates like a cartel, like Mark often says. But when we look at these things like they release some 135 murderers it's um it's often because they they get something for it like they give money to other nations in order to get either compliance or well usually i guess compliance or stability so if they can have a stable economy or a stable control system for an area like in afghanistan they help the cartels or in mexico they help the the sonoa cartel for 2000 to 2012 take out all the other cartels because all they really want is someone with a monopoly on force in that area yep. that owes them a favor. Hmm. That's what they want. <laughs> they, they just don't care who, who it, it is, is, it seems, um, va- the vast majority of the time. It's like, well, they're playing ball with us. We'll take him. Who cares what kind of crazy axe murderers they are? We'll take them. It's like Saddam Hussein over in the Middle East. We didn't kill him until he got belligerent and decided not to take orders anymore. Right. Aaron, good points tonight. Thanks for the call. 855-453-DAVE. Dave Ridley with us from New Hampshire from RidleyReport.com. Hey, Dave. Hey, guys. I just wanted to report in from the front lines. I'm on a Ridley rampage. Okay. What's the, what is a Ridley rampage? Oh, I thought I told you before. The, the really rampage is when you go to, like, government meetings, you stand outside, and when they leave, you ask them questions. I love uh, this. You, video. you probably have told me before, but I have to ask you again because uh, we always have new listeners. So, Dave, you are kind of uh, the the newsman of one. Uh, you produce your own news packages, you shoot them, you edit them, although there's very little editing usually with what you do, and you, you get it out there. You get more content out, I think, on a weekly basis than... A lot of people here in New Hampshire as far as activist coverage and things that you do. And and, uh, confronting the politicians is something that is not unique to you, but you are the most consistent at it, and uh, you do a great job. So where are you, and uh, and who are you confronting tonight? I'm Al Franken without the communism. But uh, I am uh, in Nashua. I'm outside City Hall. I'm waiting for the the aldermen to get done with their meeting. I got a lot of questions asked and answered on the way in, but there's some people that dodged me a little bit, and those will get more special attention. Yeah, once once they act like they don't want to talk to what amounts to a news person here, uh, then, you know, hey, that's the person that's got something you want to talk to about. Ridley is the second most popular news channel on YouTube from New Hampshire, as I understand it. So, yeah, he definitely is a, a newsman by all indicators. But what is the issue on which you are confronting these folks tonight? Well, I didn't decide that until long after I decided to be here. You know, I just pick, pick where I'm going to be based on geography, and then later on I worry about what I'm going to ask. And so just don't, just at the last minute I did some quick research as to what was going on here, and uh, I came up with five or six different questions to ask. You know, one of them has to do with, uh, I guess, their budget. You know, they're whining about, well, we can't, we can't, we're going to have a lot of trouble if we only raise our budget 2%. We need to raise it 3%. Oh, mm-hmm. no, 2%. And so one of the questions there is, well, have you even has the issue even come up that you could maybe stop funding drug arrest and save some money there? Has that even come up? Has it even been discussed? You know, and people they, they look at me like I'm I'm from Alpha Story. <laughs> Um, don't they make money on drug arrests? This is one thing that I've always thought was kind of interesting. They, they t- you know, libertarians will often talk about the money that can be saved if government uh, um, 
you know, stops making drug arrests. And then they talk about, in, you know, the next breath, how, um, you know, how much money the government makes off of drug arrests. I just don't know. But uh, just simple uh, possession of marijuana can cost like $500 here in New Hampshire. I don't think I trust the government to make a profit off of anything but maybe taxes. I don't see them. I, I don't trust them. Yeah. I, I, yeah. They, they, can, they mess up everything. Folks can follow you over at RidleyReport.com. Uh, it'll get you to the, you know, the Ridley Report YouTube channel where you're always uploading, what, five, seven videos a week? Are you doing one a day? What's your, uh, what's your average these days, Dave? It should be seven, seven a week, basically. Uh, and, and one thing did happen yesterday that was kind of interesting I thought I should mention. Sure. I was at uh, Laconia uh, Police Department to ask questions about Amanda Billy Rock's arrest. Mm-hmm. She was a free stater who was seized and ordered to answer questions. If they told her she didn't answer questions, they would uh, arrest her Right. On a, on a driving pullover. So I had some questions about that. But a- as I was getting into the meeting and toward the end of the meeting, uh, they adjourned. And then they said, okay, well, now we're going to have, well, it's not really a non-public meeting. It's a non-meeting meeting. And they just kind of sat there and expected us all to get up and leave. <laughs> and so... Everybody started leaving, but they hadn't asked anybody to leave, hmm. so I just stayed there, just sitting there. And then they said, okay, the rest of you gentlemen need to leave. And I said, why? Uh, can you explain to me that you didn't say this was a non-public meeting? You've got an RSA on your side, right? You know, Explain to me why I'm being – so I basically just started debating with the city council. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was there by myself as the other guy left. And I really don't know where this falls under uh, statute, but a non-meeting meeting sounds a lot like a – it sounds Orwellian to me. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't think bizarre. that they can actually be in – like all of them can be t- – I don't think you can have a quorum of right. city councilors – Without it being official. Or, or whatever they are, not city councilors, but even uh, select people in a given area without it being uh, – having been announced – seven days in advance or something like that. So did you end up leaving, or will we have to find out by going to RidleyReport.com and watching the inevitable video? Oh, that's a great teaser, but no, I did leave. Uh, and then uh, Were you threatened? Why did of- you leave? Were, did they threaten you ultimately? Oh, I don't know. It's just my MO. I don't, I don't go to do civil disobedience everywhere I go. Maybe I should have left slowly. I don't know. I mean, how much, how much acting out do I want to do? How much videotaping do I want to do? I don't always act out, you know. You always, Dave, always keeps him guessing. Dave, you're an inspiration. Appreciate the good work out there, and thanks for the call tonight. Good to hear from you. We go to Bill. He is listening in. I don't know where. He's on Skype, though. Bill, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi, Ian. I'm I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. Listen on LRN.FM. Excellent, on sir. The Skype line. Go ahead. Uh, I just want to call. I, I know you guys don't typically like people to stroke your egos, but you know, I mean, I just I've been listening to you guys since 2008, and uh, I just appreciate that you guys do this night in, night out for so long. I've I've gone in and out of listening to you guys, and I just appreciate you guys' work and, and effort to, to for the the uh, the you know for making liberty possible in, well, in our it's the least it's and, the least we could do and if you're not yet you should consider becoming an amplifier because uh, now we've got the matching funds and you get bitcoin back uh, ian i've been doing it since 2008 okay. man awesome. i'm with Thank you guys you. fantastic so uh, what did you want to share tonight i i think we'll try to hit it maybe i'll call you tomorrow night if i don't i don't get it all in but basically i got fired up tonight i'm a first time caller just um all right typically listen to you guys but um like uh, i got a letter in the mail today from the local county, you know, tax assessor saying, and, and let me preface real quick. I don't, you know, like I say, if we don't have time, we can cover it tomorrow. Right. But um, my dad has the same name as me. So typically these government organizations typically are terrible at getting me and my dad confused with one mm. another. And, uh, you know, I'll change my address on, on something because it'll be my thing. And then they'll change all of his records oh, address geez. as well. And it's just it's just ridiculous. And so, like, I got this one of these things, and it's probably for some trailer that my dad owns, and um, saying that you know I need I need to send within ten days, you know, a, a letter to you know with with you know the bill of sale if I sold it or anything like this. And I just you know I just like who do these people think they are? And they're just you know there's some little like peon sitting in this office you know who who doesn't even think about liberty at all and who doesn't um, you know try to. Tr- try to say, well, what, am I doing? Am I doing wrong here? They're just doing a job, and and yep. I kind of understand that. But at the same time, you know, they're threatening me. I feel like this is a letter of threat 
to me that I have to send this stuff in within 10 days or blah, 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 blah. And it's just, you know, so frustrating. I, I'm just calling to kind of vent my frustration oh, man. with you guys. I heard and, you. And, and, and I know you guys fight it all the time. But we so, need I mean, government, I, Bill. We need to have these people. <laughs> people could drive a trailer away from a bank robbery. And if it didn't have a tag on it, what would we do? <laughs> You're right, Mark. And, you know, that's, it's, it's, it's such a shame. And, you know, I just... Hopefully we can reach that peon in the office one day and then get them on our side, and then that's when things will change. Um, Man, that's a long that way time. away, I have a feeling. And maybe we could do that here in New Hampshire, but uh, there's you know there's pushback against the Free State Project from the government agencies because they know, the government workers know, a lot of them, that this uh, Free State Project is a threat to their existence. Not a violent threat, but a peaceful threat because you know things are going to change. Change is scary, and we're out of time for tonight, Bill. Thanks for your call. Uh, if you didn't get on tonight, that's okay. We'll be back tomorrow. You can join us online in the meantime. And we didn't have time for Johnny Ray's Game of the Week, which really wasn't a Game of the Week. It was just a game that you were willing to talk about. Yeah, I, no, it's a good game. A good right. game is called Hoplite. Hoplite. Maybe we'll have time next week for that. And we'll see you in the meantime at freetalklive.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Peace News Now is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. Radio I'm Kate VR. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Tuesday, May 13th, 2014. The Obama administration is warning Congress that a government fund that's used to pay for the